The assholes are taking forever issue unemployment. I'm about to slip fuck out on this government. Yeah, man, um, they gotta get that shit moving. They gotta get that shit moving now. Uh, Alexa, sweet ass, thank you for the donation. I will see you on my other video. Come over to my other video, it's live right now. This one's fucked. Alright. Let me, um... I'm sorry, everybody. But you know how shit is, I'm a fucking idiot. Um, Drew, if you're listening, um, let's do Discord, dude. Let's keep it, let's keep it easy and do Discord, man. Let's just roll with Discord. Rolling with the homies. What's up, everybody? Rob Johnson, what's going on, man? I've had a horrible day, I guess. I don't know how else to put it, I, I, I suppose. Um, I really appreciate all the donations all the last couple of weeks, too, because without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to buy all the stuff I needed to get. Unfortunately, it was quite a hit, but, uh, you know, it all happens to all of us, you know. We all go through this shit, and that's what happens. It's not even that bad, you know what I mean? It's not even that bad. It's only bad because I do a show from in this room. That's what's bad about it. You know, it's not even that bad. Um, the only thing I didn't hook up here was my mixer. So that's the only thing that's not hooked up is my mixer. Um, um, let me jump in here with Drew and see if I can get my uh, stuff to sound right. I just got on, so it's just figuring it out. Yo, sounds good to me. I'm Yo, on. what's up, baby? How are you just doing? Just hanging in there. Hanging in there. I'll hang you. Found out, a, found out a store I was at just a couple of weeks ago. They came down with two cases. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah. I I've, mean... li I've literally got 70 accounts in this grocery chain. And one of the two stores I've been to in the last month was the one that reported with two cases. I'm like, oh, I'm dead. Well, I mean, you know, really, but... my town has 25 cases now. He's really? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, and, like, the packing facility of Amazon, a bunch of them had it. I mean, like, I just, you know, again, I clean everything off. They don't even know how you really get everything. So, you know, what are you going to do? But, um, you know, then the water thing happened. So I'm more worried about that. And I couldn't get the right Clorox I think I needed because everybody's buying up all the bleach shit. So I bought this mold-killing stuff. And, again, I went outside, dude, and I'm telling you, like, around the chimney, like, where the chimney is, the cur curves. Like, you know how the chimney comes down and then it, like, curves like a, like a triangle or something? Right. And it's, it, it's like a water slide, you know what I mean? You go down and then the chimney turns like a water slide moment. Well, there's no, um, the flashing isn't done right on it at all. And there's even, like, wood that's supposed to, like, obviously ride up on the chimney, but the dumb dickhead who did everything in this house before us... Um, there, dude, you can see the inside of the wood, like beyond the shingles. Like you can see a hole about this, th like about a half an inch or an inch going all the way down the chimney and then even up the chimney. And then on the other side of the chimney, there's a giant hole in the brick, like in the back of the brick. So you could like get wa water could be flying down there. So, and, and that's exactly where the water is coming in, in, in my room mostly is that and then they put a porch for no reason on my house has a porch on the side on the left side of the house you you were here for no reason there's a porch on the left side of the house and then there's these two swinging pretty doors that open up but they didn't insulate or do any of that stuff right so in the laundry room the other day i looked up and i seen the wood was soaking wet on the frame of the house and then it was even bleeding over about a foot into the wood like making everything moist and I'm like, what the fuck? And that's where all the ants come in all the time, too. And I'm like, these fucking idiots just fucking put this porch on for no reason on the side of the house. And they just, like, put it on and didn't seal anything below it the right way at all. <laughs> it's like, they everything they did here is fucking stupid. Like, Lee, my, you know, my wife's dad is an electrician. Leah's dad's an electrician. So every time he walks around the house, he just goes, what the fuck is this? And um, it's it's amazing the things you find out like a year in and you're right at that point. You're just over a year in there. Um, we were the same way. I mean, we knew 
we were told what we were going to encounter coming in. Like, you got to fix this. You're going to have to fix that. The yeah. floors, blah, blah, blah. So we did all that stuff, you know, kind of worked on it throughout the year. Then all of a sudden you get that heavy rain. And I've shown you, I showed you one today of the shit that happens down here. And you get that one heavy rain that happens once every couple of years and yep. the house it gets exposed. It's exposed. Like all the lies are exposed. Yeah, that's <laughs> not, exactly not to throw it. A pun, but you know what I mean? I mean, it's just, I, I need to rip up this floor and just let it be concrete down here because there's no sense. It's going to cost 10 grand to either put in a, a French drain or to find a way to <clears throat> fix the, um, the foundation or, or divert the water because it's not the the gutters or anything. The gutters, I can clear them out. I've diverted the gutters um, further out into the yard. Doesn't do a damn thing. Oh yeah, yeah. You got some a drainage. foundation related, but foundation could be well into the five figures. Yeah, because it's that it's all. My, my mother's house is like that. She gets eight inches of water on this storm. Yeah. Um. And then, you know, there's little spots here and there in the house. Like, there's a spot in the garage that I'm not too concerned about from the rain. But the um, one of the bathrooms has a leak in it right now also. So, it's like, fuck. You just, wow. water is like our curse in this house. Yeah, we've had the same. I mean, and trying um, to keep up with it. In the dining room area or whatever, off the kitchen where the table is in where we eat dinner and stuff. You know, that has two stains on the top because... The storm windows don't work right, and the weep holes, whatever, weren't working right, and the water came down from Finn's room one time. So that and the bathroom leaked too, so we have that stain. So we have those things to fix. But, um, you know, this is weird because there's definitely some blackish mold-looking shit. And, um, you know, I just wanted to figure out, like, because that's the second time, right? That was the second or... And there's been a couple other little rainstorms we've had where I've felt the carpet a little wet, and I'm like, oh, man, some water's under there. Uh, when I'm doing the show, I'm doing the show, and my feet start getting a little wet. Um, that, I know that feeling. I got that right now. <laughs> yeah, see? But that's only happened twice. And, I mean, but but what's happened two other times is that the water came in like it did this time. And the carpet just sucks it up like a sponge. So it's like, well, this is fucked. So yeah, you're right. Take the carpet out. So I took the carpet out. Um, you know, I did all this work. I was showing it on the Corrupted channel. A lot of people saw what I showed on the Corrupted Nation channel. I called it Joe's Construction. Um, probably most of you guys saw the videos that I put up today. If you didn't, you know, then you, you didn't. I don't know. But uh, I can show you some of that now. But... Like, I was doing this all day, you know, and, and first I didn't do it because I got in a fight with Leah because Leah was like, you need to call someone, like, you're fucking stupid, and that sent me into a rage. Um, like, I, like, because, I mean, I've fixed a lot of stuff in this house myself so far and learned how to do things I never did. So when she was saying that I fucking couldn't do it, I flipped the fuck out. I was like, I'll fucking, I want to kill you. Um, but, yeah, so you can see right here, there's the water. So this whole carpet ends up wet, like, about... You know, you've got padding underneath the carpet. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. See, we, we, at least we didn't put any padding. So it's like, you know, shit goes south, you know, at least you didn't spend twice as much on the padding and that, which I think that, that carpet was there before you moved in, wasn't it? Yeah. They clearly, it wasn't like you, they temporary this thing real quick to make it look like something, you know, yeah. that way you didn't see it. Right. Or they didn't care or something. Exactly. And they could but, have done something that supposedly fix the leak as I throw up my air quotes that you can't see. But if it's something that only happens on extreme storms, they could pretty much get away with it. They could say, oh, yeah, we fixed something. And then if it happens a year from now, they can go, well, we don't know what could have happened in a year. You could have dug a hole over there. You could have, and, you know, they're they're out of the uh, out yeah. Of trouble. Yeah, so this is but this is that corner. You know, I don't actually have to rip this part out, really, because I could see behind it. This is the last area you can see behind before my wall hits. So I tore everything up the, so I could see behind it. And then I went into the laundry room to see this. And this is to my left where I would normally sit behind. And so there's the water leaking in. And I can't tell if it's coming in through the bottom of the cement down here. So if that was the case, then just a lot of water in the ground, it's going to leak in anyway. So if that's a foundation leak, then there's really nothing I can do about that. But it, I mean, there is something we can do, but that would suck. That would—that's the worst case scenario if that if that ends up being the case. But I don't think that that's the case. And if it's coming from above somewhere, 
Oh, this is the spider I found too. Look at that. <laughs> you know, I I had something. I I had a like a handyman. He does you know odd and ends around the house and even things to this degree. And the thing he tried, it didn't work for us. It worked very very temporarily, but our leak is obviously bigger than yours. But what he did, and you may have to call someone because it only costs a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. He he pulled back some of the dirt from the foundation around the suspected spots and he put powdered cement in there mm -hmm. and he, he didn't get it wet or anything. He put the dirt back over it. And then when it rains, the theory is the water gets the powder, not only wet, but works it into the crevices that are causing the leak. And then it solidifies. It expands. Oh yeah. And it's, so that that's something I mean you could probably even do that yourself if if you you know probably looked up the right thing and did it but uh, it sounds like I mean just from the pictures I'm seeing and what you're saying it sounds like you're on the right path though that there's something going on with the crevice of the fireplace because the leak is coming in right where the concrete s stops and the bricks start yeah and right here is where it stops like right around here it stops as it gets over here and gets dry so it's all got to do with the underneath the fireplace and what's your sum what was that or do you do you have a sump? The pump? Like a hole in the basement floor? No, we don't have that. I mean, I've never seen that, water. That, you know, I've I've never seen it. But I mean, so yeah. Well, we've got one in the basement and it the water just it, like if these carpets weren't here, the water would just take a path and go straight to it, but since it hits the carpet, it you know, spreads out throughout the basement. But um sump will basically lead it into the foundation or underneath the foundation and then back out. Yeah, yeah, my mother. And then a pump if you have worse, obviously. My mother has that, um, you know, in the middle of the the basement. It's pitched, so all the water would set in the middle, and then there's a drain. But, right, okay. Um, but, but even here, this ain't bad. See the floor right here? This was all slightly wet. Um, oh, my bad. I got, I'm getting called by some, by Tommy on Skype. Um, <laughs> Discord. Call Discord, Tommy. I'm not even on Skype. This is my phone that's ringing. Um, I didn't even know it signed in. But yeah, you can see all this is dry right now. That's just from the heater being on. It dried all up right here. But you can see earlier I showed you a picture of from behind the wall where it was still wet. You know, but right. but yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I tore this whole wall down and looked. This whole wall was dry. I don't see any leak marks on this wall. I don't see any leaks. I don't see any spots where I'd be worried. It's almost it's either coming from the very bottom of the foundation and, and somehow leaking out the bottom of the foundation or it's dripping from somewhere up above and we don't know. So I'm going out with a hose tomorrow or the next day and I'm going to hose off different areas for like a while and I'm going to go downstairs and try to see where it's coming from. One thing I could tell you about black mold, because um, you hear about you know the right type of black mold could be deadly and so on and so forth. You may look into this a little more, but from my understanding, it typically doesn't grow on the concrete, the deadly stuff at least. It'll grow, but the the strain or the strand or whatever they call it of black mold that typically um, you know gets into people's lungs and hurt, hurts them and shit is the type that'll grow on drywall in the right conditions. I don't know what the right or wrong conditions are for that, mm. but obviously, you know, significantly humid uh, would be a good place to start, but... Um, just food for thought. Not all black mold is deadly mold. Right. But um, if you're suspicious of it being the deadly kind, don't fuck with it. Uh, bring in the experts and have them dispose of it. Well, I don't even know. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at or looking for. No. Right. right. Well, and I, I wouldn't be able to either because they all look the same to, you know, a layman like us. But that's where you get an expert in. And I don't know. But I, I don't think what you got's that big of a deal. Um, you, well, you have kind of had some breathing issues, haven't you? Yeah, but that, I mean, I can't tell if that's that, was, that or... Yeah, that predates that, though, doesn't it? I mean, I don't know. It could have right. been my, uh... I don't know. It could have been my, um... You know, my, uh, anxiety. But it could have been. I mean, you know, I was sitting on the carpet, and I don't know. There's you know? a lot of things to be anxious about. I was suspect, suspicious of that, too, you know, just... You know, the fucking pandemic shit alone will drive someone mad. Right. So, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, you're, like I said, your situation is a lot less significant than mine. So you definitely, um, you, there's definitely some easy solutions out there, I would suspect. Somebody said invest in a humidifier, a dehumidifier. You're looking at it. <laughs> you look, this is it. <laughs> that's it right there. I'm running. I mean, that, that won't, 
that won't cure a leak though. The leak will get worse if you don't get to the bottom of it. Right. Yeah, I want to stop it from coming in. Um, no, I wore a mask. Um, when I cut a lot of it out, I threw it all out. I sprayed it first, and then I waited till it dried. I re I saw that a lot of people said do not remove it when it's still wet. You know, make sure it's dried. So. And the, the the spores are still around and stuff like that. I don't know. So I was pretty. I, I I don't know. I don't know if that really makes a difference. Um, you know, as far as like, you know, being dangerous to your health or whatever. Yeah, I, I don't guess it could. I would think dry it would spread more because as soon as you break into the drywall or whatever you're fucking with, that would make it spread and poof more. Yeah. Where if it's wet, you would think it would stick a little more. It's still going to spread either way, but. Um, yeah. I'm oh, gonna, looks like Tommy is on Discord. I'm gonna spray it down again with bleach tomorrow. The all these corners, and then I'm gonna maybe cut an, a foot up or a foot and a half up. I'm gonna cut all of this around out, so the whole bottom is coming out. I don't know. We'll see. That or I'll call someone and I'll be like, "Yo, who can do this? this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who wants to look at this? Huh?" If I die, at least I'll be dead. I yeah. I mean, as long as you get to the bottom of it, it, it can't be that significant of a you know or a long lasting issue. It could come back years from now, but eventually, all foundations end up needing work. You know, over the decades, and I think that's where I'm at with part of mine. Yeah, at the beginning, like my my mother's house is a hundred and twenty years old, and so it gets six to eight inches of water in it. So you know. Yeah. Let's play a donation because they're coming in. Super chat. Super chat. Have a good day, everyone. It's Bullsy. What's up, man? We will try to, man. Thank you for the $2, bro. I'm going to play some video games in a few. Um, I needed to do something and get on here because I'm freaking out over. Super chat. Super chat. Oh, shit. I'm sorry for bleach, Joe. I want to bleach a hole. Please bleach my hole. Uh, Casey is raw. Bleach my hole. Doesn't sound like uh, the sounds are capturing on our end here. Yeah, man. Um... I, I can faintly hear it. Oh, you can hear it? it just very faintly. It oh, sound really? Like maybe I'm hearing it from the headset. Oh, okay. Let me try something. Are you there? Oh, yeah. I can barely hear him. Hope all is going well with the unexpected construction project. Ryback, you want to fuck around? Um, thank you, Ryback. Input device is the USB. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully you can hear something now, but I don't know. But yeah, that was a donation from Dean Bigelow. What's up, Dean? He's a new $25 producer. Um, thank you, man, for the $4. What's up? I'm going mean, to bleach if not, it. If not, I mean, we're hearing it well enough to know to shut up, at least. So. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. What if there's more spiders in the wall? Brace yourself, people. Retard with fedoras. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Jesus. Joe, what's up? Anybody uh, Yeah, anybody out there that knows anything about this shit? Does your chimney or roof leaking down uh, the wall? I haven't seen anything leaking down the wall at all, and I've been up to the attic, too, and I don't see anything leaking up there. Uh, the roof was just replaced recently. The, uh, the roof was replaced before we bought the house a year ago, or a year and four months ago. Get a, ba bleh, a bank loan and fix your basement with a professional. Yeah, probably should, but... Uh, I mean, if it's only a few hundred bucks, I mean, a professional is going to be anywhere from 50 to to $100 an hour. If it takes them two hours to look at the thing, throw a couple supplies in there, you might only have a $300 job. Right. So, I mean, have some. usually they'll give you free estimates, and if you find out it's a few hundred bucks, hell, I mean, that's something you can... Uh, you could probably you know pull off without a major loan or anything you don't want to take a ten thousand dollar loan for a three hundred dollar job in other words yeah yeah uh, no i wouldn't want to do that either i, I mean jesus I, I mean i would probably i mean dude i wouldn't i wouldn't pay someone to do much i'd pay someone who like knows how to put up drywall and knows how to deal with mold and i'd be like dude mold and drywall and just this wall needs to be done you know drywall. what i mean you don't think you could do the dry, put the drywall back? No, I, I I can. That's the thing. Like I don't think. I, oh. I think oh, okay. I should, I'm just gonna do it all. I don't know. I'm gonna cut the like I said. I'm gonna go about a foot and a half up, or foot up, and I'm gonna cut. There's no mold there, so all the particles of the sheetrock are the sheetrock. I'm gonna put a mask on. I'm gonna 
cut all the way across, leaving a, like a foot, you know, and then I'm going to uh, resheet rock that, you know, and then I'm going to, after I resheet, because the frame of the wood is still good too, and some of the bad spots of the wood that are bad, you know, I'm just going to bleach the shit out of all that, and I'm just going to leave it alone, I'm going to bleach the fuck out of it and paint it, I don't know, and then, um, after that, uh, I'm putting tiling down. I'm going to put tile down because this is a very flat, smooth, still nice looking floor basement. And rather than put a carpet down, which I think is dumb, although I like the carpet, but um, I'm going to put down tile or like a, it's a wood. It looks like a nice gray alpine wood I got from Home Depot. So I've got all the sheet rocks coming, the alpine fucking tile floor, whatever you want to call it. Is coming. Uh, the caulking, tons of silicone caulking is coming. Three hundred and fifty bucks. Home Depot delivers it in six days. <laughs> Hearing you say caulking, when we uh, caulked the the bathroom uh, showers, I couldn't say that word enough. Caulk. I came up with every excuse with my father in law there. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, <laughs> that's a good cock right there. <laughs> just just to make it even more uncomfortable. Frog off. <laughs> Much love. What's up, man? Frog off. Did, could you hear that at all, Drew? I guess, yeah, still just faintly. Oh, man. But again, enough, I, I caught it after a few seconds and shut up. Oh, okay. Well, what's up, Crazy Horse, man? How you doing, brother? Uh, thank you for the donation, Crazy Horse. 20 bucks, man. Thank you, dude, for the super, yeah. super chat. That's going to pay for all my caulking, to be honest, right there. So, uh, in silicone caulking coming. Joe, you need this mold spray called Shock. I use I use for work removal company. You have to wire brush it and break the mold spores, then spray the shock shit. Jesus, Mister Hardcore, that probably does sound like the right way to do it. But I'm like terrified of like shit. fucking scrubbing mold, like and bringing the spores up and shit. Shit, I got you, Tommy. I think mm. you had him server muted or something. He wasn't able to. Yeah, I had him muted. He's un go, he's unmuted. Oh now, my bad. I go, I didn't know you did that. No, I didn't mean to do it. I thought it was an accident. No, no, that's no. all good. Bullfrog getting to on hold so Joe? you can talk oh, to Tommy. Okay. Oh, Bullfrog. Yeah, maybe I will. We'll see. All what right. up, Tommy? <laughs> hey, Joe. How you guys doing tonight? Tommy. I'm I tired. Did... I was confused. I was trying to figure out my Discord. Like, I don't really do Discord. Like, I right. have a Discord. Yeah. Uh, Tommy C made me a Discord a while back ago, but I've never really used it. But Does he still run uh, it? He used to put, like, pussy pics up in it. Remember that? I don't remember that at all. I just oh. remember that some Oops. people were saying that other people were uh, abusing it and muting people and stuff like that. And I really didn't even mess with Discord. So, like, I went to Tommy about it. I'm like, Tommy, apparently somebody's abusing their power with the Discord. And he's like, okay, I'll take care of it, Tommy. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> wow. That's my best impression of Tommy, see? Mickey Mouse is your impression of Tommy? Well, you know, it's kind of high pitch like this, you know. Ha! I'll bend for you. Tommy, Tommy, I, Tommy, it's more like this, Tommy. Tommy, listen, I will bend for you, okay? <laughs> I will, um, I, should, I, should I do it, Dave? Should I do it, Dave? Huh? All right? I'm going to do it, Dave. Keemstar, you got drugs in your house. All right? All right, Keemstar. <laughs> ha! You got drugs in your house! Ha! That's, that's time right there. Oh, yes. Okay, that's... I mean, I worked with him for years. I mean, no, he had a Roger Rabbit laugh. Like, he would he would laugh like Roger Rabbit. That's what he sounded like. <laughs> Jeez. You guys want to see the area? It's over there. Look. That's where I used to sit. Look at that. I found the um, I found the old uh, chute for the furnace, too. The uh, Like, where all the dust and shit goes, usually. But now they don't need it anymore, so it's closed up. I thought maybe that's where the water was coming from, but it's not. So, Joe, do you feel like Tim the Toolman Taylor doing all that um, construction yeah, work? Yeah, I'm a lot like him because I'm an idiot, like, doing this <laughs> stuff. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. It's... You need Al to come over and help, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's more like, I don't think so, Joe. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what a lot, a lot of people say that to me. It's like, everybody's Al with me. <laughs> I don't think so, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I watched that. My friend let me use his account one time on Hulu, and I watched the whole entire from season one to the, the thing to season nine. I think I watched all the way to the last season, and it just it 
it's a shame that it went off the air. Yeah, I mean, especially before one of those t- like tool time chicks could have gotten molested. Well, I think the first tool time chick was that really hot chick off of Baywatch. I think. Um. Yeah. Was yeah, she the first Anderson. or second? I don't remember. Was she? she... No, no, Heidi was the second because she ended up lasting the longest. I think Pamela was only there a couple years, wasn't she, Tommy? No, she was the first tool girl that came in, and then Heidi came in. The other actress that played Heidi came in and actually she had um she had currently been on an episode um which i you can clearly see her in the background of one of the episodes when tim is trying to listen to the football game while he's going on her anniversary with jill Uh, (laughs) uh, Uh, you know uh drew tell uh, tommy about your love for al borland (laughs) i liked him on uh, family feud I thought yeah, he, was he, actually, he was pretty good. I mean, he, he certainly isn't as good as uh, Steve Harvey. That, that dude's a funny motherfucker. Well, he's he sure knows how to screw things up sometimes. Like, because when he was on that, uh, what was it? I think it was like a Miss America thing or something like that. Oh, and yeah. he, he read out the name, and it wasn't actually the woman's name he was reading out. I think it was like his friend or something like that. And it was actually somebody else that was supposed to win. And then they I mean, had it, the... It, could you... It, Imagine there's only one thing you could possibly do. I mean, there's multiple things you could do, but as far as a fuck up, there's only one thing you could really truly fuck up in the Miss America pageant, and it's those words that he read. (laughs) 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 The uh, the gifts that were out there. You only had one job. (laughs) You only have one job, and you screw it up. Pamela Anderson was just the first two seasons. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, And then Heidi uh... took over after that. Yeah. And she did come back for one show, I think. Uh, they had that kind of uh, class between the two the two women at yeah. one point. Uh, yeah, I saw came... that. It said season six. It yeah. did mention that. I watched her roast. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> That's an easy one to do, though. That was the only roast. It, only, it made me horny, honestly, when I watched that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey. Whoa. Oh, we're making progress here with you. <laughs> Uh, that's the only thing I'll ever say is when I watched a few months away from the show and look what you come up with. (laughs) That's the only thing that ever made me horny. I mean, Trisha Paytas never made you horny. Well, Trisha Paytas makes me horny all the time. When I look at her Instagram. Oh, (laughs) and then you jerk off to her. No, I do not jerk off. That's impossible. You'd be, they'd be dead. There's either, either you jerk off or there's dead people in your basement. (laughs) I it's don't have a things. basement. I live in an apartment. I don't know. Well, they're under your bed, man. There's kids under your bed or something. <laughs> I don't kill people, Joe. I think more or less that you probably would kill then people. You, then you honestly. jack off. Then you jack off. Uh, On the court. Why would I kill people? I have a family in a house. Oh, well, some killers have families. Like that Richard Kuklinski had a whole entire family, and he killed people for a living. Yeah, but he looked like a fucking... He looked like Hamza. Hamza looks nothing like Rich Kuklinski. Really? Yeah, Hamza's kind of actually kind of short if you think about it. He uh, he's not that tall, but Kuklinski he was humongous. Oh, really? Yeah, he was big, so he's more like you. This well, Raider looked also, pretty uh, normal until he got busted. Then he looked like an evil fuck. Uh, he was all well, he was actually Polish. Actually, Kuklinski was. Oh. That's what they call they call him a Polak. That's, That's that explains Polish. everything. Sounds like it by the name. Tommy's like, the, you know, the guy was uh, Asian. You know, they called him a called him a ching. It's like, uh, come on. No, no, like, that's what they everybody, everybody called him. Is, uh, they called him a Polak. They said, oh, there's the Polak. You know, like, yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's like a derogatory term for Polish people. <laughs> I understand that, but don't, don't like, don't, you know, don't hate on me because that's what they called him. Like, I no, I'm not, I'm not hating on you. I'm just saying that, like, like if you turn that around and turn it into Asian people, it's very uh, oh, fun. Yeah. It's hilarious, you know. I mean, Tommy, what did uh, Booker T call Hulk Hogan one time? You're just referencing it, right? Yeah, okay. yeah I'm just, just referencing yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead and say it. You know, like, and the thing <laughs> is, like, Booker T was just doing a promo, and, like, he was into his promo, and he just let it out. He just let it go. You know, he just, and it came out. I don't think Vince McMahon said anything to him, really. No, that was, when, uh, no, that was WCW when it happened. Uh, I don't think Eric Bischoff even said anything about it, because... <laughs> What? Uh, I, it, was just, I didn't... it was just really funny that you 
that you switched over to that. I don't know. It was just funny, but no, I know you weren't that was even pre Bischoff. That wasn't that pre Bischoff being in charge, anyways. E, it might have been. Yeah, it, it was right been. around the time. It was around. I couldn't tell you. That was they had Sherry, obviously. So that was yeah, maybe. Yeah, that was probably before. Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember now. But yeah, it's close. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a Freudian slip of epic proportions. Yeah, man. Um. I don't know. I'm I'm still alive, so this mold didn't kill me yet. So we'll, we'll find out. You know what I mean? I guess. But uh, yeah, I I threw out almost all the sheetrock that I cut off today, and you know maybe I'll get somebody to look at it. I'll I'll look it up and see. I don't know. We're trying to keep people out of the house. Uh, you know, even uh, Nessa. You know, Nessa was sending me pictures of stuff that she used to clean mold a ton. You know, I mean, this is this people that go into houses every day and go into like condemned places and houses and just fucked up stuff and they're cleaning mold and scrubbing gross shit and doing stuff every day so i mean i'll tell you if this mold if this were to kill me i mean i deserve to die you know at this point this is an episode of forensic files it was a it was a fucking multi-million dollar mansion this family had like worked their way up for years you know making all their money and saving and finally bought this mansion and it had leaks all over the place and they didn't know about it until they started getting sick and they had these guys come in and they ended up wearing hazmat suits when they were ripping the walls out. Jesus. And the house got condemned. They, Are I mean, you talking about no... Money Pet with uh, Tom mm. Hanks? No. I, no, I, I think, I mean, this was forensic files, but oh. um, yeah, they they had to condemn the house. And I, I don't know what's happened to it since. I'm sure they tore it down. You can't live in it. It was unrecoverable. It took yeah. over. Well, because, yeah, I mean, shit, if that shit was sitting there that long and coming down and, like, water was getting in just over and over again for years and mold on top of mold on top of water, on top, I mean, like, there's a fucking colony growing at that point. Then you pop a drywall off. The, just the first time they popped a drywall off to inspect it, and that shit flew everywhere. Right. It flew everywhere. <laughs> then they thought they had solved it, if I remember right from the story. They thought they had found the problem and solved it, but then when they came back a few months later because they were still sick, they found this place, that part, that room, this place. The whole fucking house was infested. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and yeah, I don't think that this is that bad. I think in some pictures, people were like, oh my oh. God. But like, it, this is nothing like compared to, <clears throat> you know, other people's problems and houses and things that can go wrong. I mean, this is nothing. This is... There's just a little water still on the, the wood here, and there it's looking a little dampish, moldy maybe. Like right here doesn't look very good. Like there's something going on on the wall right here. Um, that doesn't look very good. You know, I don't know what that is. So this. How'd you come across this, Joe? Well, my uh, my feet were wet. Oh wow! A pretty massive storm the other day, right? Yeah, we had a massive storm. We had uh, kind of yeah. we had some of the high. Our town had some of the highest winds in all of Massachusetts, which is weird. I thought it would have been more Boston. We had seventy five mile an hour winds. Took the neighbor's tree down on top of their roof. Yikes! Um, and I have like nine thousand fucking pine tree branches down in the backyard right now that I I didn't pick up. You can be cleaning some gutters soon. <laughs> Yeah, and we just had the gutters clean too, so they'll be fucking clean again. It'll be fucking crazy, um, dude. It's nuts. Like, there's just so much. And like Mr. Hardcore said, or I think it's Mr. Hardcore that said it. Like, it's not as bad as it could be. I don't think. I mean, I, if it was even, if it was like horrific, if I pulled that wall back and there was like fucking crazy shit, dude, I would have been like, fuck this. Like, we're fucking. You know what I mean? Like, I'm calling somebody. Like, this is fucked. But like, I. I don't think it's fucked. I think it's just like it's it's at the beginning of about to get bad. So like I feel like I I got it, you know, in time. And in a minute I'm going to show you a picture to show you what I'm fucking talking about. Once I show you this other picture of this fucking branch that fell in the yard because it's fucking hilarious. Um, okay, let me tweet it out first. All right, I tweeted it out now. I literally just tweeted something out so I could just go pull up the pictures to show you. You know, Joe, my best advice is maybe get a professional and have him look it over so then you can go back over and try to take care of what he found, what you can take care of. You know what I'm saying? I might. I might call the insurance company. Somebody said that, and I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Uh, maybe I'll call them. Um, there might be some warranties there you don't know about. Maybe. Because a lot of times when 
somebody goes in doing something like construction work like that and they don't know what they're doing, they can end up screwing something up. I'm not trying to say that you're Well, this ain't up. that bad. I mean, like, I fixed Brenna's um, wall, you know, when her wall caved in or whatever. You know, I put up the drywall and fixed that, and now it looks like you can't even tell it happened. Um, you know, the only difference is with water here. You know, Leah's dad uh, kind of was telling me what to do, too. He was like, yeah, dude, he's like, spray, you know, water around and see where it leaks so i'm gonna do that next but uh yeah i mean i don't know fucking how the fuck knows i don't i don't know see look at this this is the corner this is one of the worst spots i i saw like the wall everything else looked beautiful but this part this didn't look very good right here that didn't look good i was like what the fuck is that almost looks like shit is oozing out of this thing like i don't know what that is that looks bad that looks like balls. Waiting for the delay here. Mm. You'll see it. Looks like shit. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, so that doesn't look very good. That's, and that's in the corner there. So I say what it is. Was it could you tell if it was wet or if it was nah, had any I, like texture to it or anything, or was it just coloration? I stayed the fuck away from it. I just dumped bleach on it and was <laughs> like, I'm not touching that. And then, um, you know, but then this is the worst on the, uh, on the dry, on the sheet rock, on the drywall. You know, this was the worst on the drywall was this. It totally looks like someone took a shit in your, in your corner. Yeah, right. And this is the other corner, the right side. And you can see the, the, the water is starting to stain and mold the bottom of the sheet rock. So I'm going to go a foot and a half above this and cut this out, take this out of the room. And when I get all this stuff out of here, then I'm going to spray that bleach and anti-mold shit all over the floor and all over the beams and whatever is back there. Um, and, you know, right here you can see the water. Tommy, you'll see it on the stream in a minute. But you can see the puddle around my desk. That's normally where I'm sitting. The desk is normally f forward, and this is where I'm sitting. And you can see where the water spread out to. And it wasn't yeah. bad, you know, because that was, like, the neck. That was way later after the rain had been going all day long. So it's not like the basement's flooding. But there's a lot of water somewhere leaking in, sneaking in, and it's building up. And sometimes basements flood. Sometimes that I've heard yeah. of that situation. Basements do flood a lot. Oh yeah, Drews does. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm uh, sitting in it right now. But this this room was not built to flood. You know what I mean? Like this room was built like, hey, let's put a carpet down on here. Hey, let's build a room. Hey, there's a bunch of electronics in here. You know, this wasn't built to like, hey, th there might be a flood or there might be water. There shouldn't be any water getting in here if you're going to build a room like this. If, if you, How big of a panic attack did you have, Joe, when you discovered all this? Not really any, because this happened last year. Mm. The, a year ago, when we had a little bit of a storm, everybody remembers. It was about May. Actually, it was the same time last year, to be honest. I think it was like May or something that this happened. And I was like, oh, shit. And it never happened again. And I was like, all right, well, that must have been because the wind blew a certain way and I had the chimney open the wrong way. But uh, it wasn't that. It's something else is going on. So I'm... Um, but yeah, there's the. There's, I seem to remember you chalking that up to like the flu being open or something. We thought that, yeah. I, I thought that. I thought maybe it was the flu was open the wrong way, and because water was dripping down, and then we fixed it. But that's not what happened last night because it was dry. Look at this branch, dude. This is a huge branch. It's a fucking giant. There was like okay, so this there's seven of these in my yard, and then there's about fifteen other small ones. Like, dude, and then the fucking neighbor's tree is on his house. It's fucking crazy. Like, th there's a bunch of these, like these these little ones that came off. So I got to go outside tomorrow and pick up a ton of shit. Did like, you, so that, Mike? you say that you had a neighbor that doesn't like you too much? No, um, all my neighbors are cool, except for the. Oh. I just said there was one a uh, there was one across the street that like I don't know the like lady like yelled at Brenna one day. It was weird. Oh, okay. I thought she said there was one of your neighbors that didn't like you too much. I thought you got in an argument with them. No, no. Like it was just, oh, okay. it was just like our our Brenna was playing with the neighbor next to them. They have two sons, like that are like nine and, or I don't know how old they are. They're like uh, twelve and fifteen or something. And you know, Brenna was playing with the with the twelve year old, and then with the other neighbor next to them, who's a little kid. He's like you know six or seven. And um, they were playing hide and seek, and they were running around their yards. And Brenna just—they were in and out of all three of their yards: our yard, their yard, and the other yard. 
and uh, she was um, she went to go pull the door open, the the back door, their like fence door, to see if that's where they were hiding. And like oh. the lady came out. I wasn't. I was down here working, and I didn't know what was going on. Apparently, Leah was upstairs in the porch, and the lady like s started screaming at Brenna, like "You're gonna let my dogs out!" And she was like flipping out, and she yelled at Brenna, and Brenna got scared and ran over here, and then she continued yelling at Leah, like. She, if my get my dogs get out, I'm gonna be really pissed, like type of thing. And she's not really much older than we are. They're kind of like our age almost. It's weird. Mm. Um, but yeah, I've never, I've never, t I've actually never talked to them once. I've never spoken to them once. I saw the guy, the husband before. They, they have like a construction company or something. I don't know. They've always got like five or seven vehicles all over their house, and they're building shit in their backyard every second. Like, Maybe they I, just hate children. Was it Monica? No, they have kids. So I don't, they've got a they've got a daughter and two kids. Yeah, no, they they'd have cats then. But uh, yeah, so they, they, yeah, Leah Leah came in like like the fucking neighbor just yelled at me and like yelled at Brenna and stuff. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, that's weird. But uh, yeah, so we don't talk. We don't. I never talk to them at all. So there's a neighbor uh -huh. I don't talk to. But um, all my other neighbors are great. I talk to everybody, see everybody. They they kind of just stay to themselves and. I don't know, work from their house illegally because you're not supposed to operate the way they do from their house with their business and shit, but whatever. Mm -hmm. I think the neighbors, actually, the one of the kids that the Brenna plays with, um, they're moving, and uh, they're moving. And I, I swear to God, they're moving because these people are, like, working on trucks and cranes in their tiny backyard right next to that house, and all they can see and hear is fucking just, like, trucks revving and machines going and Jeez. just crazy shit that they're doing. It's fucking crazy. Eek. Yeah, that's ridiculous when you have a noisy neighbor. I mean, like they're wicked. It's crazy. I, I don't know, but I don't. I don't give a shit about what people do or anything. But just don't, you know. I mean, yell at my kid. Be, oh, you know, she doesn't know. We don't even know people. Like we, this was when we first moved in, so it's like we didn't really know. The kids were all playing together. So then, when the kid was like, I like their, I like her kids too. Her kids are great. Her kids like always help out with stuff, and are always like asking to help. And they're always building stuff and doing crazy things. Um, but they were like, oh, mow, we can mow your lawn and stuff like that. You know, whatever. But I don't want to let them in the yard because now I'm afraid of their crazy mother who might sue us or something. <laughs> so, fucking, it's too bad people are retarded, you know? Every neighbor's got, or every neighborhood's got a couple of crazies in it. We had two or three of them when every, we moved in. Everybody <laughs> likes them, though. Everybody else likes them. They seem to get along with everybody. Everybody else likes them. It's one of those things where, like, I feel like they're just being weird to us because we're new or something. And then when I lived in Orlando for the longest time, uh, we uh, the the lot next to us was abandoned, and what happened was a gentleman bought that property, and he had a, a son that worked on construction, and what he would do is he would come home and drink with his buddies on the back porch and get drunk and be really loud. So that became a nuisance. Jesus. See, I'm, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not, like, bothered by any of that shit, so I don't care. Like, I don't even care. But sometimes the house, like, I'll hear, like, and, like, I'll feel the house, like, almost, I'm like, what the fuck is that? And it's them with their truck up in the backyard, like, working on it and revving it up. And, like, I'm like, oh, okay, that's what that is, whatever. But, I'm, uh, but basically I, I said, well, nobody ever better complain about me because... I feel like they, they, nobody's, and the weird is, like, the neighborhood is always complaining, I look on the Facebook page all the time, and people are just always complaining about shit, like, dogs barking, dogs not barking, dogs shitting in the street or something, like, just, like, not, like, all this dumb shit, and it's like... Not you screaming on the lawn, SUCK IT IN MY ASS! Like, you, no one ever complains about that, because you have soundproofing. Yeah, nobody can hear me, because I'm under the cement, but, uh, I had the... Yeah, I had the kids test it one day. I had, uh, oh, oh, and then I also blared my speaker to my guitar amp, and I revved it all the way up, and I blared it, fucking, it was like, bah, 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 like and it's like, it's it's raging through the house. You could hear it through the house, and I went outside, and you couldn't really hear it. The only thing you could hear it was it in the house, like, you couldn't hear it, uh, because I'm under the ground. If I was to drill a hole in that wall, it's dirt. If I was to drill a hole higher, it's dirt. I'm under the ground. That's why I'm happy where I am. I'm, like, on the top apartment, so, like, I don't have to worry anybody above me. Like, I just, I, the person that only has to worry is the person's down below me, but that person has, like, a, uh, she can't hear a single thing because she has, like, a thing in her ear because she's kind of deaf. Yeah, I mean, well, you should go down there and just have sex with her. 
<laughs> no, thank you. I don't sleep with old ladies. Yeah, I do the same thing. I keep my dog in my yard. The dogs, all my dogs shit in the yard. I don't, I don't take my dog out to shit, you know, for a walk. Like, I don't like picking oh. up, I don't want to pick up the dog shit while walking. I don't want it to shit on someone's house or whatever while walking. So, I, the dog is going to the bathroom in the backyard and I pick it up with a, with a, one of those scoop things. Um, but everyone's always on the, the pissing and the pooping and the, just the stuff, and, and it was funny because it was the other day, it was nice out, and I remember it was so nice out, and everybody was so happy and waving as they walked by, and all the neighbors were all saying hi to each other, and one person on Facebook is like, let your dogs in, like, or something like that, and it was like, they post that every month, they complain about dogs being outside too long or something, and I'm like, just go tell the person, you keep posting it on Facebook, nobody sees it. Obviously, they don't see it. Like, you, you should just go knock on that neighbor's door then if you're that mad. Because um, they don't see it. And, and then they were like, what do you mean? They, like, got all weird. They are like, what do you mean? What, I, don't, I don't get this post. I'm like, what do you mean you don't get this post? I was like, it was a nice day out. Everybody was having a good time. And here you are asking about dogs barking. I was like, but you post this every month. They clearly don't, like, they're not hearing you. So... Maybe go tell them if you're that upset about it. Like, go actually say something to them. And then they basically were like, well, that's... I think you're being ridiculous. <laughs> like, And I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. Keep I mean, the only, this. Time, the only time I ever had a problem with my neighbor was the time that, I mean, I had two... Like, they were an old black couple living next to me. And apparently, they had issues with their eyes, so they would smoke weed all the time, and, like, it would just fill up the hallways of with marijuana smoke, mm. and I was... Hell yeah. They complained <laughs> about that? What? And they were complaining about it? Well, some other the people were complaining. I never complained about oh. it. I kind of... I, when I... Well, here in my apartment, I never complained I about... Said... Well, okay. You said that... they had a problem with you. Well, no, they didn't have... I just... I One day, <laughs> I did knock on the door, and I said... Uh, I, I I mean I had ran into the guy at the grocery store and I asked him I said uh, sir I happen to notice that some marijuana smoke is coming out of your apartment he's like oh my wife has glaucoma in her eyes <laughs> and I said least, I understand no problem at least you had the balls to say something to someone a lot of people just can't do that and, you know. oh my god I, I'll just tell you this the funniest they story they just made was, that up they totally didn't have glaucoma he was like we got glaucoma and you were like oh and like, <laughs> I'll just say this one time oh I was God. on the phone. I was on the phone with Crystal and just talking quietly in my apartment with her. And then my doorbell rings and it's completely quiet in my apartment. All yeah. I am is doing is talking. And I open the door and this little short old lady is standing in front of me, which she has. The only way she hears is she has a little machine in her ear, you know, that she could hear because I've met her and she has to hold it in her hand just to hear anything. And she's like, oh, yo, why are you playing your music, Lila? And I, I opened my door and I said, do you hear anything, ma'am? And she's like, no, I just, I hear loud music. I hear loud music. And I, she, she's German also. So I was like, nope, there's no music. I'm just, I'm on the phone. And after she left, I was talking with Crystal. I'm like, you hear that, Crystal? She's like, yeah, like you weren't even doing anything. That's weird. Yeah, like... Because, yeah, I was watching, a, I think I was watching a movie on Netflix, and I didn't have the volume up, but I heard thump, 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 and I'm like, what the hell? And I'm like, so I went downstairs and went to go knock on her door, and she didn't answer, but the funny thing is I was knocking on uh, her door, but the neighbor next door was asking me what I was doing. I said, I would just want to ask her if I was being loud or something like that, because I always want to be courteous because, like, I don't want to get any complaints to get me thrown out of here. Yeah, you don't want that. You should have banged on her door and then just, just take taking her a piece, taking her apart, like with your cock. <laughs> oh God, y'all, you're in that case. Yeah. yeah. Imagine just defiling her with your throbbing mushroom tip. <laughs> Oh God, Joe! Unless you've seen the movie, yes, man, like that was pretty funny. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, she she should have been your yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well, I got to uh, add somebody in here.
It's Bullfrog. Hey, Bullfrog. What's up? Do we still got Tommy on on the call? One and only. Yes, I am still here. Ah, oh, Bullfrog, like my my replacement. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Awkward silence. But yeah, this is awkward. I, I thought you guys were going to have <laughs> something more to say to each other. I got to fix my mic. Hang on a minute. You guys go. Well, Bullfrog, tell Tommy. Tommy, tell Bullfrog how you're better than him. I mean, I don't think I, I, I hardly have ever heard anything from Bullfrog. Like when I watch, if I do watch an episode of Monetize This. We hardly hear anything from him anyway. So, you yeah. Know, that's fair. But where I don't is, think. Uh, where's uh, Costanza? He wanted this shit. So, where's his little ass at? He wanted this to happen. Well, he, it's happening. He's in the chat. He's watching. He's enjoying it. Oh, well, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure Costanza's getting wet. Are you well, getting Bullfrog, wet, Tommy? Bullfrog, you what? said you were better than Tommy, right? I am. Okay, you think you're better than me? Okie dokie. I know right. I am. Ooh. You know you are? Yes, Jesus. Bullfrog, know Bullfrog thinks... Bullfrog doesn't think he's the replacement. He thinks he's the upgrade, Tommy. What do you think about that? Well, if he wants the role, he can have it because, you know, like sometimes I just I don't can like to... I can have it. I have no problem with that. Like, you know, sometimes I just don't like staying up that late at night. Like, you know, but uh, you know, I've been on this quarantine, but sometimes I just I I've just been chilling on Fridays and not doing much really. But yeah, I have no problem with Bullfrog taking my place. I, I don't think Are it's you, sure? I don't... you know, maybe once ahead, in a while, Drew. you know, you know, I'm once in a while I may I may pop in on one Friday or something like that. You know, I just you know, I don't like staying up late anymore really. But uh you know, I have no problem with Bullfrog taking my place. You don't like staying I up do. late anymore it is a lie. Mm. Why you got a bedtime, Tommy? You're a grown adult. Why are you, why are you always off at 11 o'clock? Why you got a bedtime? I don't have a bedtime. Yeah, you do. You did say that you don't like staying up late, so you, you must well, have... Yeah. I mean, I, I still talk... I mean, you still message me at like 3 in the morning sometimes and 2 in the morning, and there's other times well, you're up on Saturdays and other days. Like, yeah, not really. That's not really true. Well, it just depends. On you how weird, I you, feel. You're like JB. You're weird. Like, you just can't give the real answer. You know, it's bizarre. You, mm. I'm not like JB. Oh, that's right. To to Tommy's got some chromosomes. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. What, what do you think about fuck? that, Tommy? You, Tommy, well, you, got think... some you got some I... chromosomes, Tommy? Oh, I think you have some dumbass in me, I think. I am uh, a dumbass. Dumbass? I am, I'm the biggest dumbass in this uh, room. Well, you, you, I've seen your face. You look like the biggest dumbass I've ever seen. <laughs> really? Look who's talking. Hey, you know. You, you got I, a lot of room uh, to talk. Hey, I've worked for what I have. Like, so, you know, shut the yeah. fuck up. Yeah. Yeah, you work for that. Yeah, you, yeah, you work for that Wendy's. <laughs> oh, no. oh, come on. I don't work for Wendy's, you asshole. Fuck you. Yeah. You have there's no well, you proof. Want, you, there's no proof of that. What proof do you have well, that I worked there? He called them. There's no, you didn't. Well, I didn't. There's no fucking proof that I worked there, so everybody can shut the fuck up. And that. I told Bullfrog oh, to take that video down. Little, oh, oh, poor little Tommy. His his feeling don't want to show you work for him when he's all poor little Tommy. What? I mean, Bullfrog, when you did that video, like Joe was saying, when you did that video about it. And you actually uh -huh. dialed the number. That was fucked up, dude. I'm yeah. glad you took it down. I mean, if you didn't take it down, I think it would have been considered doxing, to be honest. Are you fucking kidding me? You called a Wendy's here on Black Mountain just to ask if I worked there, you piece of shit? Are you fucking serious? You fucking called a business where people are working while you sat home lazy on your ass not doing anything? Oh. And, you, and you harassed people? You fucking harassed people, dude? You're a fucking scumbag. Fuck you, man. Like, you know... Well, he just made a prank call. I mean, I, 
don't know if he harassed yeah, well, him. It's, it's, if it's a fucking prank call to a, like, a fast food restaurant here on Black Mountain trying to pinpoint if I work there, fuck you, Fog. You can go suck a dick or get run over by a car or whatever. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all frogs get. They, that's all that happens to frogs. They get run over or they get blown up. We get an M80 shove up their ass and get blown up. Jesus. Do you do that to frogs, Tommy? No. You oh. know, the the good news okay. is he called Denny's because he watched the wrong podcast and got the wrong idea. Mm. So he, he called Denny's and he didn't get any exact answers. So, um, you know, his dumb assery worked in his in your favor there. Bullfrog, why did you run away? I didn't run away. Somebody hung up and I didn't call his stupid work. I never called his work. Oh, now you're back. We, are, we, already, you're back we already cleared that up, dude. That's uh, terrible. I didn't call his work. I could call. I can pull up my cell phone bill. I did not call. Like I said, we already cleared that up. So, wow. Can you hear the Halo theme uh, right now? All right. No. Was it? Ah! Was yeah. It that? Basically. Yeah, I'm just uh, something must have changed in the connection or something when you rehooked up. I'm trying to get my sound to work uh, the right way. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We'll see if I can. Um, you know so, I so um, I love you. You know, I love the both of you. You know, Tommy. I hope you come back to monetize this. Uh, but you know what I mean. Just like Leah left. Uh, just like uh, you know, everybody else has left. Uh, Tommy obviously leaving as well. But he'll do other shows. He'll come on my. He'll come on uh, throw. Uh, not Throwdown. Yeah, you come on Throwdown. You come on this show. It's twelve thirty at night, Tom. You know, you'll come on this show, but monetize this starts at eleven. You, there's just a disparity there. It's a very weird thing. It's almost like you're doing it on purpose, like just no, no, like John, I, I'm purposely going to avoid monetize this for some weird reason. Because you used to beg me to be on that show, so it's just weird. Like like you'll come anywhere, but you but on that one you you're just weird. It's it's strange. Like so, I just figured like okay, I'm not going to ask him to be on. But uh, yeah, that is the that's the show I need to fill some people on that show right now uh could use a co-host or two over there but um you know you again nobody has to stay on you know but feel free to call that show it's uh the one we could use some people on no but, problem um, man. but yeah it's uh you know I, I don't i guess bullfrog was making fun of the fact that he's been laid and says tommy's a virgin i mean the two of you uh do you guys have different tastes in women I have no idea. I've never really listened to what who Bullfrog is. I just spoke to him just now. Like I've seen clips of him. He, well, I've seen his picture that you pulled up on Monetize this one time, but I really <laughs> don't know oh, much really. about the guy. Well, he's gay. Does he DM you? Does he ever DM you and try and uh, get you to be froggy with him? Yeah. No, he's never DM me. Oh, I'm surprised. Well, like, so get ready. Hit every other corner. <laughs> yeah, get ready. It's going to be happening soon. He loves getting froggy. Yeah, he loves to pound that froggy ass. Uh. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, bullfrog. Same reaction as everyone. Yeah, he dropped out again. He's on hold again. What a dumbass. Uh. Hey, bullfrog. Yeah, listen, I uh, never called his word that fucking fat ass bitch. Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to stir the pot or anything like that. But tell Tommy what you said, what you thought about Crystal. Oh God. I don't need to hear it. Like it's some kind of bullshit, probably. So well, like, I, I, it is bullshit. I will, I will agree with you, Tommy. It, it is. Bullshit. What did I say? What did I say about her? I never said nothing negative about Crystal. Two two weeks ago, and well, okay, whatever. Forget it. It's, it's, you can go look it up. I don't want to. I don't want to cause problems here. I but, have nothing to hate against his friend. No, it wasn't hate. It was you said she was good looking. That's all it was. Yeah, well, I can okay. agree. I yeah. can agree about that. Crystal is very good looking. She's one of my best. Yeah, friends. she's okay. Yeah, she's okay. Yeah, Tommy can get it's Tommy can get fro Tommy can get froggy with her. <laughs> He's not going to. <laughs> he, <laughs> he really wants to get froggy with her. Now, Bullfrog, would you get froggy with Crystal? Oh fuck this! <laughs> no, I'm I'm gay. And Tommy, do you do you like gay men? Uh. No, no, no. Wow. Whoa. Wait a minute. Why? That's a long time why to answer you? that. Like, you I asked have, me. Why? I, I oh. have a gay friend, but, you know, like, I mean, stop trying to point out that I hate gay people. Like, I don't. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. 
that. Nobody said that. Well, I just Nobody feel like, said I that. Feel like that. I, I, I think you're like, gay. Is what I what I was thinking. You took you so long to answer that. Usually, someone would say, "No, I'm not yeah. gay." Yeah. But you no, like, you're like, gay. oh. I, I like, I like, I like vagina. I like women. Well, I don't know. It took you a long time to well, answer that. Tommy, Tommy, I'm gay, so I like guys. Well, that's that's what you like. Mm, you yeah. know? I'm 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 a full on gay person. I love cool. I love guys. Well, I don't think any less of you if if anybody thinks if everybody thinks that I. Think it sounds like you're really defensive about this. So it sounds like you're yeah, hiding something about is. gay hate. Nope. I... Tommy, have you ever watched a gay porn? No. Yeah, right. I think you're full of shit. I oh. think you're full of shit too. Yeah, I know. You I, I'm, 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 I think I'm you're secretly the, not. I'm catching other bullshit. I... I think you're secretly that, not that, gay, that. but you're just using it as a troll item to say you are gay, but you're oh. not gay. I am. Ooh, bitch, I oh, am gay, you, you misguided faggot. That's what trolls do. I am do. gay. I am gay, you fucking... Hey, I am gay, you fucking... When you fucker. To troll people with, so that's how I know how trolls work. They <laughs> Tommy, why don't you go eat some Wendy's? They pounded in there, and they started pulling oh, yeah, oh. oh. that shit in there. Yeah, you fucking are. Yeah, Tommy, fucking you keep pounding that shit in there. You like pounding it, don't you? Oh, fuck you. Oh, my Tommy, God. Tommy, you want to pound my froggy ass? Tommy, you want to pound my froggy ass? Tommy, you wanna pound my froggy ass? Nope. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you, you want to? <laughs> you want to get froggy with me? Uh, you misguided no. faggot. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <that's so> <laughs> <laughs> I think bullfrog's so winning. Funny. Holy shit! This is fucking <laughs> This is fucking weird shit. Oh <laughs> my god! Who's more? Who? Uh, to, um, Tommy, who do you think is more autistic? You or bullfrog? Uh, Probably me. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I know I'm high functioning, but I, I, I'm probably no. You're low. No, you're low on function. You're you're on the bottom of the pool uh, of the pool pit. Oh, so you <laughs> certainly know who I am. So fuck you. I asshole. didn't know who you are. I'm your replacement, bitch. Oh come on, man. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you're hardly a replacement because you fucking hardly say anything on any show. So how the fuck are you? I a do. I do bring entertainment. I do, I do bring day, entertainment. Back in the I do bring a lot of show, shut up, you and these. Money, okay. I made him a lot of fucking money. Oh, I gave him a good lot of for you, Tommy. Clips. Good for you. So I was the you want a cookie, okay? Tommy? Me and some other you want people a cookie, were fucking Tommy? funny when we were on this <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, fuck you, made Tommy. Gold. Yeah, you, fuck what you, you done? You done bitch. nothing. La, 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 la. You la, 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 Fuck you, la, la, Tommy. La, la. Kiss my you froggy ass. You are a mistake. You are a mistake. You are a mistake. You know that? Tommy, you're a misguided retard. And you're a misguided <laughs> artistic piece of shit. Oh, I am a piece of shit. I am a piece of shit. At least, At least I'm bringing some entertainment to the shit. I am hey, a oh fucking idiot. I, I actually make content, so fuck you, asshole. Mm. What con Tommy, you haven't been on the show in weeks, so what content have you brought, dumb bitch? It's called do I have got, my do own you got a bullfrog hey, song? Hey, 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 it's called I have hey, my own hey, fucking hey. channel. No, do you, you. Got, do you got a bullfrog song, Tommy? Do you got, a, do you got three rap songs? No, you don't. Oh, how about More this? Uh, have you ever seen a bullfrog watch him get flattened? <laughs> yeah, the, why don't you go work out some more, Tommy? Why don't you go why, fuck yourself? You, why, don't you go, <laughs> why don't you go fuck a crystal some more? Oh, he doesn't. He wants to. What? You know. Why don't you go? Why don't you go get a froggy with crystal? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! 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 I know you, you want to fuck me. Oh, I, I know you want to. What? You. I'm saying fuck yeah, off. You like you're a piece of shit. Jesus. I am a piece of shit. Bull Get rid of this fucking I piece of like, shit. You know, Fuck bullfrog, it. bullfrog. Uh, you know, I really think you're right. I think you, I think Tommy got the better end of the the of the spectrum. Yeah, r yeah, right. Tommy can eat shit and die and bang Chris's oh. ass. What the you fuck? Can, oh, you know what? Your your whole entire family can eat shit and die. Fuck you. Well, they do. They do. They do. Yeah. And die. <laughs> uh, you really find good replacements, Joe. This guy is really a class. Well, He's show up really on my. You, you uh, I'm, I'm, show up on the show. I got my own uh, rap song. What do you got, bitch? I got a rap song. <laughs> what about you? I have a whole entire rap album called Funktaculous, bitch. So why don't I take my phone? What the fuck? Yeah, it's got, called He's got an entire album. He's got multiple yeah, national like a, television appearances. He's got yeah, 100 like K. Sounds like a Jurassic Park album. 
<laughs> sounds like you, so it sounds like you got a Jurassic Park rap album. I don't Tommy. need to deal with you, dude. I honestly, wow. yeah, I don't need to waste my time with you because you're just a waste of space. And I like, thought you guys were really no, going to get along. No, you're thought, a waste of space. I thought you guys were going to get along. What, what, you to have show. Here, what you have here for your replacement is just a fucking troll. And every time I come on the show, I just get triggered I'm not a troll. all the fucking time. Yes, you are. You are a fucking troll. You just got to start coming on uh, here. Fucking fuck you, your you mouth. little fucking Wendy's eating bitch. Why don't I don't you go want eat your mother's ass. Oh, my God. Dickhead. Go, go eat your mother's you just ass. Said you ate <laughs> go eat your mother's <laughs> ass. What the fuck? Go, Which go mother? Go eat your mother's ass. Yes, that's I, Tommy. yes I do eat at Wendy's. What's, what's the fuck? Go, is wrong? go pound you your mother's ass. Go, go, go pound your mother's ass. Shut up, Tommy. You shut, shut up, you misguided faggot! You shut the fuck shut up, up, you piece of shit! Jesus. Shut up before I chuck you, though! Blah, blah, blah! Tommy, I'm gonna tell you about your little ass. Shut up! Tell me, tell me, tell me, what the fuck shut is wrong with you? You little you misguided up. faggot! You, you are a misguided piece of shit! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, you little cunt! Tommy's winning! You little misguided faggot! You little Wendy's eating bitch! What's wrong with eating white mountain tell faggot? Me, tell me what is wrong with eating Why don't you go eat Crystal's pussy? Why don't you go eat Crystal's pussy? Why don't you go eat your daddy's pussy or your mama's pussy, you piece of shit? Oh, I would, I would love <laughs> to. Dude, shit. I am a piece of shit. I, mean, I am a piece of shit. I'm captain of the shit, you shit for brain. <laughs> I am the of the fucking you shit. Are, you are an excuse for a human being. That's what you are. I what? am an excuse for a human being. I am. I'm the, I'm the biggest loser the there is. I'm the biggest loser there is, bitch. <laughs> Joe, I'm the biggest loser there is, motherfucker. Cream. All right, Bullfrog. You know what, Jesus, that's... man. You know, come on. Take it. Why, why are you going to say this stuff to Tommy? I thought you were going to come on here and be like, cool with everything here. Like, why are you going to hate Tommy? Because Tommy's a misguided faggot. You know what? Fuck you, and I'm yeah, out fuck like, you. I don't need to be around scum like you, like because that's all you are. I am scum. scum. I'm the biggest scumbag there is. Good night, Joe. How easy it would be to win the points on Friday jo night with you. Uh, right. I'm we'll taking the high it. ground, go and I'm going to go. Okay, we'll so see you go, you, go blow, go blow, Crystal. I mean, bullfrog. Go, go hey, counter. Oh, oh come on, man. Your daddy's dick and your go counter dick. Dick. All right, get out. Come on, bullfrog, man. What the hell is wrong? He is retarded. Jesus, what is with okay. the animosity of him? I, oh. I, you have a good night, Joe. I'm. I, uh... what, what's the matter with you? I got rid of him. He's oh. gone now. You okay? Yeah. Uh... I mean, that's what autism looks like. Autism speaks through Bullfrog's eyes. Oh, God. I just hate getting fucking mad like this. I, I just, you know, I don't, I don't know why he does this. I mean, I know that he's had a... he did, The only one thing that he did that I didn't like was when he was sending me the emails of Crystal and being like, I'd lick the froggy butt. And I'm like, dude, this is weird. Like, don't send me pictures of people's... People that they know in real life. Like, that's weird. Yeah. You know, I'm going to pound her frog. You know, you don't even know her. It's weird. But, uh, yeah, but I, but he, it might not have been him that sent me those. It might have been someone pretending they were him. But, you know, after hearing that, I think it might have been him who sent me those. Been, yeah. I thought it was I a mean, troll, just somebody being a douche, you know. It's usually like YR or somebody like that under a f email number 900 or whatever. But, Wow, he really did have animosity for Tommy, and he also was horny for Crystal, which is both what was said in that email. Now I'm starting to think it really was him. But I'm not sure you could type an email based on, you know what I mean? I don't think that, I don't know if Bullfrog could type a fucking email. Uh, the, they, here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean. That's what I imagine to be from him. <laughs> Good God. Tommy. I, I did not you... expect that, I. You want to win a night, I'll monetize this. Show up when he's around. You got it made in the shade, dude. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you will bury him. Was he's that a... Tommy? Huh? I no, thought I you said had... something. I just uh, saw something on Instagram, and the guy was doing push-ups, and the dumbbell hit him in the back of the head. Ow! Turn... That turned you on? No. no I'm fucking. I'm fucking... I, I hope it hurts. Turn me on. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna, I'm going to wrap it up soon. I'm going to stay live. I'm not going off the air, but I'm going to play video games in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, Tommy, what's been up with the quarantine? Anything changing? I know it's a little bit, you know, I'm in the city up here in the Northeast, so, you know, we take it 
we've been taking a little more seriously. But anything getting a little more serious out there or different, you know? Well, I mean, I haven't, uh, you know, I've been quarantined myself. I've been staying home mostly. I haven't really gone anywhere. But, you know, like, occasionally I'll go to the grocery store. But, uh, like, Wendy's is uh, is closed and Denny's is closed and the, the like, fast food restaurants are closed really really See, i haven't seen a whole lot of that they're open out here well i mean yeah. i don't know i don't know if wendy's is open or not i know their drive through is probably still open but they close their dining room i think <coughs> oh you said they were yeah closed. yeah the dry- well i thought i oh, was closed for you you can't go in there well i mean uh denny's is closed majorly like they they've they haven't even opened their doors. They're not even doing to go anymore. Like yeah, no, that makes more sense. The lobbies are closed everywhere, but there's drive-through only. Like I, I've got the Burger King up the street for me. They, you know, I go through there a couple times a week and get breakfast. Right. No way monetize this beats this. <laughs> yeah, that fight was pretty epic, Tommy. That was pretty epic. That was a people are gonna rewatch this about a thousand times during the week. I mean, so you got you gotta you know. You, you and Bullfrog, you know, you might you might be angry at each other right now, been talking shit about each other, but, you know, both of you just made gold, so. Stanza makes a great point. We could have a triple threat with Dr. Earl. Oh, yeah, we put him on that. there. Hell I'll man. tell you, Tommy, uh, Tommy, <laughs> I'm a, only... I, 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 depending on what show I'm on, I say different things. I'm retarded. You ever notice that about Earl? Like, we go somewhere and talk shit about someone else, then comes on someone else's show and talks shit about that same other person, then goes on some other place and says something. The guy's all over the fucking place. The guy can't remember what he says half the time, like, the next day to the next. It's hilarious. Yeah, I, can't stand, I can't stand Dr. Earl. I, I don't, that's why I don't like to be on the shows with him. Yeah. Well, for what it's worth, the Kill other him. night when he was on with uh, Bullfrog, he was uh, saying some of the same shit you were. Like, he, he doesn't like Bullfrog any more than you do. So Yeah, he hates Bullfrog. You guys could, you guys could be a tag team, maybe. I yeah, mean, and I hate everybody. Time. I hate yeah. everybody. So I just want to watch the world burn so you all get together and fight. I like Tommy more than everybody except for his weird monetize this fucking weirdness. But other than that, I, I love Tommy. Um, so I'll take his side. Hell yeah. You did win a lot of people over in the chat, though, tonight, Tommy. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I saw a lot of Tommy, Tommy. Yeah. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, just uh, keep that in mind uh, Friday night. Well, the other thing, too, is we're going to get, now I'm going to get the bullfrog anger. I'm going to get the emails about, what the fuck, you hung up on me? Oh, yeah. Well, by the time we get off of here, I'll probably have four DMs from him, like, bring yeah. me back, bring me back. I don't know how many times I've told him I don't have that power. <laughs> Even if I did, yeah. I'm not going to do it. When I bring people on, I don't leave you on the whole show. I bring you on for a segment, man. Then I got to move on. I mean, I could do this whole thing right now and talk about my day and just do Q&A. But, you know, I'm here with Drew, and now Tommy's here, and, you know, we have a little bit to talk about, and Tommy's probably going in a minute. And Bullfrog came on for a few. You got a good, you know, you got the highlight of the show. we be happy. You got the highlight of the show. Come on. But, um, so, uh, what else is uh, keeping you busy? Anyway, anything else, Tommy, you wanted to say, man? I'm sure you want to get out of here and, and um, relax. Well, I, uh, I, I just recently did a, I just recently put out some new content. I did a, another, <laughs> Tommy, I just did another Tommy Sings video recently. Did it get flagged down yet by uh, copyright on YouTube? No, it, um, because I, I'm just singing the words. Like it, and surprisingly, all my content is good, really, because I don't really break the rules when it comes to doing content. And well, stuff you like don't that. have to break the rules; they'll just take it down. Well, no, it hasn't been taken down. <laughs> it, it's uh, it's doing pretty well. It actually, I think it has uh, 200 views on. It, I think right now, I think I last le- as I looked at it last super time. Jet. Super chat. Super Can you hear these super chats? How much do I have to donate, Eight Joe? Weeks. How much do you have to donate? It's Bullsy. What's up, man? I mean, you've donated a lot, Bullsy. I don't think you have to donate any more. You donated so much, Bullsy. But I appreciate it. I mean, it's oh, all going to the repairs this the week, bubbly. unfortunately. That's it. That's Want it. some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <coughs> bubbly. Good evening, fat fuck faggot. I mean, Tommy. Oh. How are you doing, bitch? Mike Yamoto says hi, Tommy. Thank you. I don't know. I could, could you hear that? I could hear something. I could hear yeah, a little. You can tell bit. something's going on, but you can't make it out. Mm, that's weird. I could I could hear Jericho a little bit, but probably because I'm used to it. Yeah. I heard a ooh ooh a little bit of the bubbly. That's all I heard. Oh, okay, well you heard that. That's 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 part of it. That's you know, Joe. Um, today I was watching. I was kind of like uh, watching an old movie today. I was watching. Uh, 
a goofy movie. Remember that? Too <laughs> Hyuk? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I realized there was a lot of stuff in there. It was like kind of like there was some dark humor and some kind of serious moments like where you see Goofy like as a father figure and serious like he gets mad at him because he realizes that his son's been lying to him so he redoes the map so they can go to California. Like I, I realized there was a lot of serious moments like if you look back on uh, that movie, you know. Really? Yeah, you know, I, I barely remember it now. Um, it's Bolsey just said hi to you, Tommy. He does say hi through a donation. Oh, here comes another one. <coughs> Here's a little cash to help get the repairs taken care of. Oh, thank Thinking you. Thinking of your brother Cronin. Brandon Stay Colby. Stay safe. Brandon, so what's did up, you... brother? Did you watch uh, shows, uh, Big Show's new show on Netflix? Not yet. It looks terrible, but I'm going to watch it just to laugh I'm, at it. I'm going to be honest with you. I am a critic, and honestly, it was kind of corny, but it makes it funny because Big Show's in, and he's kind of big and clumsy. Uh, the, he is the whole reason that's kind of it's kind of funny. The girls are not, you know, they're they're they are kind of funny a little bit, but it's Big Show that really brings it together, and makes it really funny because <laughs> you know, every scene that he's in, he's really massive and funny and oh, uh, massive. I... <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he looks like uh, Brandon Colby. Thank you, man. He looks like he's kind of funny. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. Seems like it might be alright. Hey, Joe, hope you and the family are doing great. Dave Tapgun, what's up, Dave? Yeah, the family's doing all right. My kids and stuff. Uh, it was a little weird day today because I was grumpy. I was down here working, and the kids couldn't. Everybody couldn't understand why I wasn't hanging out with them. And I was like, I'm working on fixing this shit. Uh, and it was a pain in the ass. But you know, uh, Dave, thank you for the donation, man. The two dollars coming from Canada. We love Canada over here. Um, and there's some more. We got Bird chiming in. Twenty three ninety three, Mr. Bird, as always. Um, we're going to suck his fossil fuel in a few minutes. Tommy, do you want to suck off Bird? No. <laughs> but you like, you get along with Bird? I forget. I mean, you've been he's been here with you for a long time on the show. And, um, you know, monetize this. You seem to always get along with Bird, though. I guess. Like, I, I mean, if he said shit Super to me, I, I freaked Super out on him. But, like, I... Wow, this <laughs> bit was monetized. He's already low. Uh, Jesus Davilio, what's up, man? We're going to probably replay this on Monetize This for the people that missed it, because I want people to decide who won that, uh, I guess, fight or whatever that just happened with Tommy and Bullfrog that I did not expect. I thought they would just kind of laugh about a couple things and we'd move on. I didn't know there was going to be a... he was Bullfrog really started it, to be honest. I mean, Tommy didn't say, you know, Bullfrog was pushing the envelope. Skeppy the Diamond, thanks for subscribing to the channel, Skeppy. How you doing? You know, Joe, you know who I spoke to the other day? God. No, uh... uh Bird! No. Hang on a minute. I got one donation. My bad, Tommy. It's Bird. This is Bird's donation coming in. Okay, he's gonna say something to Tommy. Let's see if you can hear this. Uh... I'm Kim dead of laughter. Tommy, you won that at the end, bud. Oh, Bird says, uh, you won, Tommy. You won the fight that happened with you and, uh... Thank you. Bullfrog. So, yeah, Bird's on your side. He took you in the win. Um, who did you talk to, Tommy? Isaac Rojas the other day. You know what's weird is he DM'd me one day and said, I got to tell you something or something, and then he disappeared. He didn't ever answer me, even though he's he started the convo. Yeah, it was weird. How's yeah. What did he say? <clears throat> I just I catch up with him, ask him how he was doing. He said he was doing okay, and I, you know, uh, asked him uh, about some – trivia stuff we had, talked about some old stuff and some new stuff and he just said that he kind of left the area and he was doing some other work around some other places he said selling drugs is no i don't think you i don't think he said that. don't either. believe that tommy don't believe that he sells drugs i, I have a feeling it's not true <laughs> but i have a feeling about it you know i can't say if it's true or not but i have a strong feeling super jack super jack he does that Battle of the Chromosomes. Battle of the Chromosomes, says Corwin Eberly. What's up, Corwin? Mm -hmm. um, well, I think Bullfrog at one point said, you have more t chromosomes than Tommy. Haha. <laughs> and that's actually a bad thing, but I don't think Bullfrog dick? knows that. I'll take my dick out right now. I'm Sean's view on a payment. And you want to see my dick? Here comes Sean's view. Do you want to see my dick? I will show you my penis. 
Oh no, this is. This Don't is fucked up. With me or else I'll show you my it's a tribute, actually. I see water issue like yours every day. You need to remove the moldy drywall wipe the affected areas with some bleach or antimicrobial and get you a dehumidifier to help control the humidity. If you have any fans point then at framing after to dry out. Thank you uh, Ghost of Tommy's Barber. I will, uh, what the fuck? I will uh, do that. Really, dude? I like. I want to say, can you just change your fucking name? That's Super fucking ridiculous. Chat. That you have your Party. YouTube channel <laughs> name that. I, I'm just asking ask you nicely. Please change the name you of your out, YouTube brother. channel to something different, please. Because that is fucked up. Yeah, he's, he's everywhere been, too. He's like he's patron of multiple people, and his name is that on everything. If I remember right. I asked him. He's not. It's not like he's someone that's been around forever. He started watching around that time. And was looking for a name. If I remember right, I talked to him once about it. It just was, I guess, in his case, perfect timing. That'd be like if he's somebody like, oh, uh, looking for a name. Yeah, you know, it'd be like if some. But yeah, he's so like um, he's known for that name now. But it's weird. It'd be like if someone had like De Joe's dead dad. Like was their name, you know? Like Joe's dead father or Joe's fa like rotting corpse. Hmm. You know. I mean, somebody did do that actually a while ago, but it didn't stick. Like ghost of tommy's barber like that guy that guy's everywhere in every chat like he's always talking it's crazy i see him all over dude, the place he's actually a good dude it's not like he goes around and like tries to tout his name or anything i think he tries to like sort of like continue the legacy of of tommy's barber like one, one night he was talking about like he would never like the, whoever this dude is would never fill the shit him good guy and he was probably better than the person that is make all he's doing is making fun of my friend my best friend's death that's all he's doing by Whoa. doing that this is your best friend like better than hamza well he was close to my he was close to being like my best friend but like he would give he would give the shirt off his back if i needed it like he was like one of those kind of guys like he he was a one of a kind person and you know he went too young like you know he it was a shame was did you say it was a drugs problem? He was diabetic. He went into he he <coughs> had a drink. He had a drinking problem, and he went into diabetic shock. I think, and uh, it just didn't go well for him. Good and God. last time I last time I spoke to him, uh, he uh, he asked me if there was any available apartments in my building, and I told him I didn't know. And that was the last time I actually kind of spoke to him, and then. Uh, couple days later my friend told me that he was gone Jeez. So, better you didn't tell him the apartments yeah i mean you could have been <clears> the <throat> one walking in you know uh it's one of those things you know like we don't we don't we're not gonna live forever mm, yeah. so you have to live life to the fullest and uh you know you don't know what's gonna happen down the next road you know yeah dude like it's sad it really is dude like i i don't know man that's at least you the know, guy's but, not malicious, but it is it is weird to see, like, somebody who, like, have a name like that. It's, it is strange. Yeah, like, of course... Death uh, is rough. I mean, one of my daughter's hermit crabs died today. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, but... <laughs> I was I mean, kind of fucking with Tom. You know, I... That's not funny, man. Like, I mean, I've lost animals myself. You know, I've lost many animals uh, because of old age, you know, like... But they, you can't pair, compare a losing of a, a hermit crab to a human. No, I was fucking with you, Tommy. Uh-huh. Well, I, I lost, I lost my worse. turtle. I was kind of, yeah. Yeah. Go, when I lost my turtle, here, I was sad go. about that. Here you know? we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh here's, it's Bolsey uh, oh. saying something to Tommy. Sorry, Tommy. I sort of initiated you two to fight. It was fun, though. It's Bolsey uh, blames himself for the fight uh, that Tommy had with Bullfrog. He said he's sorry and he loves you, Tommy. Mm. I'm telling you, people are talking about it everywhere. I even got a tweet on uh, from from Bullfrog. Says, well, it finally happened. Round one tonight. Round two coming. Hell is frozen over. Bullshit. I won. Wow. Yeah. Bullfrog. That's what you think. You but, I mean, the chat says otherwise. 
You keep thinking that bullfrog. You keep uh, sitting in your little pity party thinking you won. You you, do you think maybe you'd have an hour Friday night to prove him wrong? Maybe I'll see. Oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll give him a short leash. But uh, here's Ed's view. I want episode two of Chromosome Wars. People are calling this Chromosome Wars, Tommy. You oh. think that that's insulting to say that? Uh, a little bit. Apparently, I don't know what a chromosome is, but, you know. Oh, oh no. Why did you say that? Oh, boy. I'm smart, but Frog. I know. You know oh, my God. That's what started the whole thing is Bullfrog. Um <laughs> totally misunderstood what it was on air and that's where the whole term stirred up well kind of it stirred back up well i gotta let me see if there's a couple more donations to come in here uh and we'll get out of here and we'll get you guys and I'll, i'm gonna go to gaming because uh, i've told gavin i'd play some games with him and i let him stay up late now because he's like you promised we play games at 11 now it's one and so like now i'm letting my 10 year old stay up with me late to play a game with him um what else we got Oh, primitive way, life way. That's it. That's it. Bubbly? Let's Look see what he stuff. asked Tommy oh, here. Let's see if you can oh, hear this, Tommy. I don't a little bit of the bubbly. That's coming it. up. <laughs> Tommy, would you fuck bullfrogs, froggy fat ass? Oh. I hear he takes more pipe than Richard Simmons. Fuck shit ass bastard. Tommy, what is the difference between a Belgian and a lump of dog shit? The Belgian drinks wine, but the shit smells good. Jesus, did you hear that, Tommy? Yeah, I heard it. I don't know what to think about that, but no, I would not fuck him. I would even yeah. touch him. Yeah, there you go. I mean, you keep asking, but it's like, what is, what is his, his answer isn't going to change. You know, here comes Ghost of Tommy's Barber now with another one. There he comes. Let's see what he says. Nine bucks for a fuck. Someone donated nine. I'm getting hard. I got nine inches inside of your wife. Nine bucks. I'm shooting my seam into the ceiling. I'm coming, and my balls have to blue. Nine bucks. Suck my dick. Ghost. He'll change my name when Tommy changes the 2010 in his. It's 2020. Get with the times. Change no, it to Tommy because MC people know me for that, but you maybe. are just a fucking troll meme. That's all you like. You're just trolling my my friend oh, that passed away. Bit of the bubbly. I'm That's not gonna it. change it because he was stuff. like, oh, you know, oh, all you're doing is a being bit a troll. Of the bubbly. That's it. Yeah, I mean that's. We started I, 2010 is what you know is what everybody knows me So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna to change. Speak it. out, and we've been a proud member of the community since 2017, but first spoke out last year. That's true, uh, San Jose Sharks referees. We thank you for being here for so many years and. And um, for speaking out, we, everybody really has to watch out for the San Jose Sharks referees. Uh, Tommy and Drew, I want to thank everybody who's been on so far. I'm going to switch gears because I told my uh, son I'd play uh, games with him. I'm staying on the air, and I'll be back. And I'm rather I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm still here. Um, but, Tommy, thanks for coming on, man. It was great to hear from you. And uh, thanks to Drew for holding it down, man. Have a good night, Joe. All right, YouTube. guys. Oh, hey, Tommy. Tommy, I, I was just asked by Daryl Stoltz how much money it would take to ensure your presence Friday night. I I, I don't want to I, I I don't want to do that to people. I don't want to make people put down money to have me on the show. Well, how much I'm money paying, would uh, Daryl yeah. have to pay Tommy? Is that what he's saying? How much could Daryl pay Tommy? Or it's, yeah, it's there in the chat. He's uh, that's what he asked to ensure we get Tommy versus Bullfrog round two montages two hundred and sixty this Friday. How much money would it take for Tommy to show up? Ask him. So it sounds like he's offering. Wow, he wants to pay Tommy to show up. I'll think about it. Like, I, I don't want to. I don't want to. You know, have somebody put down money and then me not be there enough for them to be have that. You got to make know? sure your schedule works out and. Yeah. Wow, you really so, hate that show, huh? I don't hate monetize this. I just It's very strange. All right. Well you guys right, have Tom. a good night. Okay. Uh, all, all right, Tom, we'll see you, man. See you, Joe. See you, man. Good see night, you, guys. Drew. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I was just finishing up I just I'm still alive. I just got rid of Tommy and Drew and now I'm uh, going to game with Gavin for a few minutes live. What's up, Mike? Okay. 
How much for me to drink? I don't know. It's going to cost. Yeah, Tommy's weird, man. I think he's got a deal with, like, he's got some kind of a deal with somebody about not coming to monetize this or something. It's weird. Um, just like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, JB left and he's like, oh, I, I got family time and all this stuff. I've, you know, there's a reason I can't do these things anymore. But then now it's just personal reasons and that's, it's like weird. Then he takes a random, random jabs at me and stuff like that. It's, the guy hates me. Like, that's the answer. Most people hate me. So it's hard to get, you know, Tommy doesn't apparently hate me though. He, uh. He calls. He called this show, you know. You got to give him that. He called this show, so he can't he can't hate me that much, you know. But there's some kind of, like, some kind of thing with him. I don't, I don't Who knows? I'm going to throw these, uh, throw these fucking headset on. <coughs> Let me see if I can get this going. I'm sorry that I'm not using my normal good mics tonight, guys, that I'm using this, uh, this Logitech headset because... I just couldn't get the mixer up in time, and I gotta get a new mixer. Hey, Gavin, can you hear me? I'll oh, say something again, Gavin. I'll oh, say something again, Gavin. Hello? Hey, can you guys hear uh, Gavin on the stream? Hey, can you guys hear uh, Gavin? Gavin, I'm hearing myself echoing like crazy. Gavin, yeah, I'm hearing myself echoing like crazy. Why is that? Do you hear me echo? No, I'm hearing me echo. No, I'm hearing me echo. Hmm. I don't usually hear myself echo, but some people say I have an echo. No, but I'm hearing me. I'm no, hearing. I'm, I'm hearing echoing me. through you. Why am I echoing, I'm hearing, through, I'm your echoing through you? Why am I echoing through your screen? Hold up. Something's going on. It's. Something's I don't. Going on. I don't think it's my mic, but I don't know. Do you hear an echo from my mic? Yeah, I'm hearing me echoing. I'm hearing me coming yeah, out of your TV echoing. or something. I'm hearing me coming out of your TV or something. I don't have my TV sound up. Turn your mic down or turn your headset down a little turn bit. Turn your mic down or turn your headset down a little bit. Like, I, I <clears> do <throat> hear, um... Hold up, is this better? Hello? Yeah, that's better. Hey. Um... Okay. Yeah, that's better. Um... I can still hear myself. What the hell is going on? I can still hear myself. What the hell is Unplug going on? Unplug your mic and plug it back it in. It might be. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear And I can also hear myself. So I think it's for your TV. Do you have your TV sound up? Oh, maybe, it, maybe that's it. Oh, maybe, maybe that's it. Yeah, I can hear, I can hear me and you as an echo, and I can hear, like, it's, I think you have the same TV sound up. Okay, I have my TV sound off. Yeah. yeah. I have my TV sound off. And I can hear myself echoing. Yeah. I can hear myself echoing. I still hear my, I still hear you and me Yeah, me too. I'm well. plugging headset. Yeah, me Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. Oh no, it's the nice guy. Damn it! Sorry, Mr. Nice Guy. Send me an invite, uh, Gavin. Send me an invite, uh, Gavin. All right. I don't know why I'm hearing myself though. That's driving me nuts. I don't know why I'm hearing myself though. That's driving me nuts. I'm I'm close to uh. You know what? I'm actually kind. I'm kind of close to getting uh to fifty. Echo on my side, really? Like I'm, I'm, I'm Echo hearing me coming side, through really? his headset. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing me coming through his headset. Do I hold up? Turn on voice overlay. Do you have that on? I don't know. Uh. Just turn it on, uh, for the uh, party. Where is that? And you oh, can see who's talking. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Hey. All right. Do you hear hey. an echo? Hey. Yeah, hey. I hear an echo. Every time I say yeah. hey, then yeah, I hear yeah, hey yeah. again. Every come time through. I say hey, then I hear your, hey again come through. Your headset. Your, your headset. I don't hear that. Hold up. Is it better? Hello. Yeah, whatever you just did is way better. Can you hear yeah, an I echo? don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I just turned my sound down. Yeah, that's what it was. You sound so loud, it's coming through your speakers. Yeah, but the problem with my mic is that it's not very. It's its sound is not very high. Well. It's because, I think I know why though. It's because my mic doesn't go very far out. Okay, so, you're right, that's part of it. Okay, but what so you can do is, right, um... Part of it. But what you can do is, Oh, um, shit, I can still hear myself. What the hell? Still hear myself. What the hell? Yeah, because I just turned it back up. Oh, yeah, turn it down, dude. That's crazy. It's too loud. Oh, yeah, turn it down, dude. That's crazy. Um... 
I, but the thing is, I can't really hear them. Well, no, here's what to do. Here's what to do, actually. Hold on. Click on, um, go over to settings, go over to sound, audio. Go over to settings, go over to sound, audio. All right. And turn, um, turn, um, head, headset chat mixer. Headset turn the game on more mixer. than the voice. Turn the game on more than the voice. I'm probably coming through too loud. Well, I can't, can't I just do that? Too loud. Can't I just, or, uh, or you know what? Go down to mic monitoring and or, turn or that you know way what? down. Go down to mic monitoring. Turn your mic yeah. monitoring down. Turn your mic monitoring down. Like this black thing that I have on my controller. Oh yeah, you have that piece. I can use that oh, as well. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Go to go to audio. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Hit the go dashboard go button and then. Is that better? Yeah, I'm down more. Yeah, it's not as yeah, bad. It's still pretty bad, but yeah, no, it's way better now. Yeah, no, it's. Better. I can still hear me though, but All it's right. not as bad. I can so yeah, just turn mic monitoring down, because that's how yeah, loud your mic, mic is listening for that's your how loud sensitive it's listening to stuff. Oh, uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Super chat. Super chat. Alright, All right. All right. again, again Drew, I started it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn my sound... I wanna have, um... I gotta have my thing for you a little bit higher, because... I don't want the sound super loud. What else we got? Oh, a there. little bit of the bubbly. Right. Uh, want some bubbly? Look at this stuff. Oh, oh, a little bit of the bubbly. That's it. <laughs> While Tommy fake shit talks Crystal and Deba Scissor, greetings from Hell Tommy. How's the echo doing now? Um, I can better, a lot better. I can still hear it, but it's slower. All right. That's better. Tommy's barber in hell. Oh my god, dude. A new mic. New mic. This is a new mic. I'm going Yeah. Yeah. But hey, it's a new mic, girl. It's cool. You donated 50 bucks. I'm gonna take my dick out because you donated 50 bucks. Oh, you donated 50 bucks, motherfuck boy. I'm a rich motherfucker. Hope this can help with the damages, bro. Have a great show stuck here at work. Love and kisses, baby. Fifty dollar bomb okay. from Junebug. Okay. Hey Junebug, thank you, man. Kisses to you, son. You have a good day at work. I'm ready to go again. Just a spare fifty dollars. Just a spare fifty dollars lying around. Yeah, Junebug just dropped uh, fifty dollars. Yeah, Junebug just dropped uh, fifty dollars. Then he said, "Put Gavin to bed." Then he said to put Gavin to bed. Soon. I'm just kidding, he didn't say that. Oh, I didn't? No, I, didn't. I just made that up. Oh. No. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Thank you, Junebug. Appreciate it. Thank you, Junebug. What's up, man? Bam, 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 bam. Random question. What is a food you have eaten because you were super hungry despite knowing it was way past the expired date or you just knew it had gone bad? Dude, I just bought it like two days ago. Oh damn, you should have bought it on PC though, what the hell? Oh damn, you should have bought it on PC though, I don't have a game in PC. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. But dude, I fucking like it. I fucking like it. Yeah, I love the album. I can't go into the album. Oh, I hit A. I'm sorry, Gavin. I just hit A. Oh, yeah. It's because you were, like, idle. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, dude, I... Wait, this is Griff Ball. What do oh, you want to no, play? Yeah. Play Slayer or something. Alright. Alright. I'll run to Slayer. Hungry Hungry Hippos. Random question. What is the food you've eaten because you're super hungry despite knowing it was way past the expired date? I mean, Hungry Hungry Hippos, hippos. that has to be like ramen yeah, noodles or something. Because, like, I wasn't ramen. afraid of it. I was like, alright. Like, it's wicked expired, but it's whatever. It's ramen noodles. You know, something else I wouldn't have. I would have been like, no. You know, something else I would have. Ramen noodles don't go bad. That's just, they just gotta put that on. Yeah. yeah, it said expired, but I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it said expired, but I was like, The funny oh, thing is, there's two, to... there's two people on the other team with soupiest trash and soup trash. Slayer. Soup trash. And not only that, but we were talking about ramen, which is kind of soup. And two people just quit. And two people on our team just quit. Why did you attack Gavin now that you hit her? You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Two people literally just quit. That's great. The two people on our team really? quit. Really? Our team That's quit? That's stupid. Why would you quit? Of... 
Oh, stuck you! Strike! <laughs> oh, I missed the stick on the other guy. If I stuck two, that would be nuts. What's up, Chad? Oh, man. It's us two versus the whole team. All right. Get you on. Oh, well. Real <laughs> men. Game the lead. Ow. 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 Got him. Hustle the whole team. Let's go, we're tied. 2-1-4, we're tied. Bring it on, you spaghetti. There he goes. Let's go. Lost the lead. Oh my oh, god. god. <laughs> I have played. I have my... I think I have my sense of pity on here, man. I use high sense of pity for my first ball, so... Lost the lead. Oh, oh, I yeah, took I his shields. Need one more guy to clean them up. Oh. I ran out of ammo. And then his buddy got in the way. Gosh. It's hard, you have hard, you have like no play. Yeah, it's okay though. That guy's shield's almost gone. <laughs> I beat down the- oh my god, I just beat down the sword guy. Oh my god, I just beat down the sword guy. Let's go! Go! Tied the leader. Oh, you shotgun! Oh no! Oh, Gavin, I was about to go on a spree. Four on two, baby. Let's go. So oh crap. <laughs> he somehow got invisibility. Nice, Gavin, behind me. Nice, Gavin. Alright, they're coming the other way now. Oh, okay. They're coming the stairs, they're coming the stairs. Oh. Beat him down, there's one more coming. Beat him down. Ah, oh, there's a guy with the oh, sword. <laughs> <laughs> I sure is around, do it. Uh, I one guy and then I fall off the thing and then the sword guy. We got screwed. I haven't played sword. I haven't, I haven't played play that much recently. I've been playing a lot of this stuff like in the world. Nice. Yeah, this is bad. There's two people. Okay, there's three people. It stinks because. Two people left. Yeah, we get a couple double kills and we're right back in this. Yeah. Oh, there, there is a chance of us running for whatever I'm like. I should have killed the sword guy. Because we only have two people. I would have had the sword. There's one thing I've got to do with my headshots. Oh. Got one of them. Oh, if I had a grenade, at least I got one. It's too long for me. Oh, I almost assassinated that guy. Got the sword guy. Got the sword guy. I killed him. Here, I'll take the shotgun. The leader. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Lost the lead. Yeah, that was actually yeah! the leader. Lost the lead. Oh, we tied the lead again almost. Let's go. Let's go, Gavin. Four on two handicap. Coming for you. Coming for you, you blood friggin' bastards. Oh, crap. I found a, I found a guy who's coming up here. Oh, oh, Dang it! I just have to kill the guy and then his teammate came. Yeah, 
Oh, eat. Oh, eat my fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> I just got fucking shot in the back. Ow. Was that sticky? I am so Double kill, let's go! Yeah! Come and get some! Daddy wants some dinner! Okay, um, I cannot get a single cure right now. I have not played that much player. I need to stop playing my team. We're only down by six, yeah. We're playing four on two. We're a whole team and we're playing, you know, this is pretty good. Oh. Take oh. my kill. Okay. I swear, I think I feel like I couldn't be killed. Yeah, but it's the like that is a sight. I love it. <laughs> Got him! Ah! Oh no, you went up there. No. Okay. Okay. The one guy who's using me is the... Oh my god. Hmm. We're still doing alright for two of them. We're doing alright. In our first game of the night. Oh my god, I killed him? Oh my god. Oh, no ammo? Are you serious? Yeah, Gavin's one likely to kill. Oh, <laughs> One! Let's go! Ah! God, if I get that sword back, I'm gonna go on a spree. Where are we about to say? Yeah, for two people against yeah. four. Oh, that guy should be the nice guy. Either y'all really good or they really suck. Yeah, I didn't click this. I didn't have time to grab the sword. I was gonna, I was gonna grab it after, but that guy killed me. It was a guy down there. Fuck you, dude. Wait a second. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Sword guy! Yes. Yeah! Rocked him! Let's go! Come on up! Come on up! <laughs> oh, you've had enough! Thank you. Thank you. Ah, no! <laughs> no 14 kills ain't bad. Yeah! We're only down by five, Gavin. Got him up, man. Oh. Look your head out, dude. Sword guy. Sword guy. I look like calling you sword guy. Yeah, the two other, yeah, the two other dudes just left at the end. They left at the beginning. They left at the beginning. Yeah, I'm at the beginning. Yeah, I'm at the beginning. Yo, you wanna back out, pick me up, so we can join you? Yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, buddy. There. Uh, Mine just ended. <laughs> yeah, but you can add him to the party. I think you're the party leader. Alright, alright. What's up, everyone? Actually, let me see if I can do it. What's up, everyone? Do it this way. Alright, I'll invite him in a second. Okay. I'll just invite the party right. if it's easier. Right. Okay. Alright. Uh, 
Okay, I can't. You just added me as a friend, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, there it goes. Winning player. player. What's up, Mr. Nice Guy? That got me like, that got me like, I got like 24,000, and since I'm on like, tier, I'm almost on tier 50, I didn't even get like, that good into like, the game. Well, I didn't get like 24,000, I probably got like, 18,000 around there. I'm sitting on this steel chair. It's oh, my God. oh, Cronin. Um, I meant to say oh, meant this to earlier, and I tried to get on the air and tell you when you were doing your fucking show about the your house and shit. What does it smell like back there? Like just um, like death of any no, type, like where it's wet and everything. No, it doesn't smell bad. I took the mask off, and it's, huh. after having the I mask on for hours, it took it off, and it smelled kind of weird, like musky off, basement, kind of weird, like which I never smelled before, basement. but, you know, you said it's never weird when you had a mask on for two hours. But, I don't know, it didn't smell well, like, you know, when Liam comes down here, like, she would smell so something weird. Down down here, here. Like, okay, okay. Because that mold Cause that you had on stream had would create, like, a smell of, like, near death or anything. I'm just curious. I yeah, I don't even know. I haven't noticed. I don't, I don't I'm starting a game. I'm not in a party. I'm starting a game. I'm not in a party. Um, we're together. We're together. Oh, we're all here. Oh, yeah. We're all here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, this is DMR. I'm gonna get a cushion. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Oh, God, this oh, map. This is not DMR. Oh, I gotta go back up. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, I'm so used to Call of Duty. Uh, I'm going. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna just walk it once. Save my ass. <laughs> Oh, that was close. I almost just died there. Oh, health back. Okay, I'm dead. And now my body is going to fall in the face. Die on the ground? I don't know. Like I just stole your kill. I'm gonna 
I'm about to say three of mine have been stolen in the last five minutes. <laughs> yeah, when I play when I play football, I I sweat, and when I play football, you're, I sweat. You're good. <laughs> I need to find a fucking find needler and I'll be fucking good. Needler's a needler. Oh, they're not? Uh, good. Huh? Bro, rocket launcher got by me. The rocket launcher guys is not all man. My least favorite Don't tell me you left after I was got about to kill you, you fucking faggot. Sony, Sony, Sony. Birds. Call of Duty, it's hard to switch over. Dude, I like yeah. four of my kills. Yeah, I still go. It's all good. Jeez. Damn. Yeah, you are with you. Woo! Woo! Rocket launcher. The guy at the bottom. I mean, I play him already too. That's probably why I'm in the league. I mean, you're probably an old because you've been playing Halo for like most of your life. Well, you're in my like, camp. Oh, the other guy was out. I'm the other team, it's called Potato X007. So I can get one kill on my team. Oh god, the guys are cool. What in the actual. Oh. Okay, the rocket launcher goes in here. I should have switched to my pistol. Ah oh, shit, you're behind me? Oh, you're behind me. Good shit, good shit. Attention all games, something ability should be infinite. Getting my ass raped right now. Okay, oh crap, no, okay. You, okay. Killed by, uh, no one well, I guess it's fine. Dang it, you should have shot him. I wouldn't say I said to be the last game. Yeah, we did better than the yeah, last game. Wow. <laughs> I think like I had a shotgun. That's unbelievable. Oh, hell yeah, where's that other guy? Oh, yeah. I was about to say, if I kill you after you surprise me, you suck. <laughs> Why did I not stick him? Oh my god, I should have shot him. Oh, <laughs> I just lost connection. You did? Yeah, he got booted. What? Oh, that's weird. Game over. Oh, we lost anyway. <sighs> I saw that Travis Jackson died in a car crash a couple days ago. I saw that. That was that's crazy. I saw that, son. That's oh. awful, dude. Not a couple days ago, but you know what I mean. A couple hours. Ago. Man, I went 11 and 13. Gavin, 14 and 18. I don't even want to look. I, I played like booty cheese. Well, that other person.
Come on, now you can't get better at the game if you can't freaking play. I gotta do some cut. He back. He had to back out of the party. Microsoft is doing that shit where it kicks you from the party and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's exactly my fucking reaction. Ugh. 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 Don't. Hey, don't threaten me with a good time. Slayer. <laughs> oh my. This is us too. Oh, and dude, I love this map. Let's fucking go. Gain the lead. Dude, we're on separate teams. Oh, he's on the other team? Oh, I'm on a different team than you. That's weird. I'm on a different team. What the fuck is going on? Thank you. Against him. What happened to you? Thanks, Halo. <laughs> Got nailed in the privates by somebody with a hammer. Come on, Krona. Me alone. Get off just one more time. I just 
ridiculous stuff. Is going on. Oh, go fuck yourself, owl eyes. Go eat it out, cunt. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, Dickel Stone's getting in! Oh man, I almost got him a red eye ammo though. Yeah. Is Witch Doctor a good class to start with in D3? Do you guys want to play a one round of Rift Ball keep playing slow? I'm about it. Alright. I know how to play this ball. Basically, you just like, try and pick up the bomb, but everyone teabags you and kills you. And your teammates always betray you a lot. Fuck you, Cronin! <laughs> Put your hammer down! Oh, I chased you with a hammer like an idiot. <laughs> um, yeah, man, I, I guess it depends. Which sock is kind of rough? It's one of the rougher classes in the game. It's been one of the worst ones of this season. Oh, I stuck you! <laughs> I stuck you! Don't fuck yourself! Oh, <laughs> well, that was desperation, too. I jumped out here and stuck you. You had me. You're a whole. You had me. Oh, missed the stick again. Boom! I feel alive. I feel alive. Oh, from behind! Oh, oh. oh killing spree! Ah! Wow! Let's go! Let's go! Hammer spree! Mary Poppins! You are you are so hot. <laughs> I am genuinely just I don't know. I don't care. I don't care. Jesus Christ, that was fun. Despite getting ram rammed in the ass in the with a ass freaking ass hammer. Ugh. Ugh. The chat's yelling at Bird about swearing in front of Gavin. Oh. What? What? I don't care. <laughs> hey, I didn't know you. Hey, hey, Cronin, I didn't know the chat was full of SJWs. I don't swear in front of him because I'm his dad. Uh, uh, I'm his only his dad's safe weird stuff. Yeah, um, I, and, I, and I've come downstairs plenty of times to hear you say the F word plenty of times. <laughs> oh, we got back out of here. Yeah, I went 3 and 9. That was, oh, that was horrible. 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 Yeah, Y'all gotta pick me up. Um, too. send Bird an invite, or Gavin, send us both invites. Gavin's really good though. Gavin's really um you don't really say bad things and you do good in school. Are right, you got this man? There we go. There he is. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. 
I join your game. I join your game. Um, there we go. There we go. Um, there we go. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I got the XP! Oh, you got it when you logged in? That happens sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I'm getting XP really weird. Like, I just got a, a bunch of XP quickly. I was... Yeah, it did give me the yeah, XP. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, um, so... Are we gonna play, uh... Um, Grimfall or Slayer? I play Grimfall. I don't know how to play that so How do you play Grimfall? How do you play Grimfall? Basically, um, there's a bomb, and you're trying to pick up the bomb. But, everybody has gravity hammers and kills each other and you know, stuff and stuff. And, um, there's um, pretty much an 80% chance every round you're gonna get teabagged. Oh, I found Grimfall. I was- I didn't know it was on the Oh, I found Grimfall. All right, we'll just play like one right. match of that, and then we're gonna go back to Slayer, okay? okay. Oh wait, you oh, did wait. Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo 4. Oh, I put it all on. I put a group on. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Johnson says you don't want to know what kids say. It's Bob Johnson, you don't want to know what kids say. I'm about to say the about kids say nowadays say a lot worse in school. That's true. That's true. I mean, hey. Go into stalls and just freaking f words all over the place. These teenagers think it's funny. Yeah, sometimes oh, in my old school there was. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Brandon wrote. Uh, hey, yeah. How often? Cronin, I'm a question. How often does Gavin listen to the channel? I don't ever let him listen to anything. I don't ever let him. I don't all usually right, listen then. to this channel, but when I'm on, when I'm like in a video, then I'm in, you know, like. If I'm like in a video, I'm like, yeah, but I'm usually only in videos. I don't really watch ball. videos. I'm not even subscribed to them. My next question was going to be, what's worse that you heard, this channel or people in school? <laughs> Definitely both. <But> I'll... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like two in school. Oh wow. Yeah. Detonated. Round over. I got a killing spree at the start. Oh, they don't count the kills. They just count the Griff okay. Ball. Griff Ball will give you a lot of XP as well. That's why I play a lot of it, and that's why I'm pretty good at it. I'm also Come here, buddy. Come here, big. Oh, feel like it. Bomb dead. Okay, it seems like this person knows how to play. But mainly because I... all the other people on the team just stand still and let people assassinate them. Junebug, thank you for that 50 bucks, man. Uh, Amanda Carmen, what's up, Amanda? Um. Bomb taken. Triple kill. Oh, oh my god. Game over. Okay, that was the game. Those guys down, like, without, like, any, like, worry at all. Yeah, I think we should play another round. That was, that was really quick. Griff Ball matches can be really quick, but they can also be really slow. Well, really long, I mean. Yeah, they can be long sometimes. That was I think we should play another round of that, because that, that was really short, yeah. Yeah. Come on, give me my XP. Yeah, that was fun. Soccer. Or hockey, soccer, or whatever it is. Or hockey, soccer, or whatever it is. I got 11 kills. I got 3. I thought I had a lot more. Oh god, it's doing the thing. Have you been getting the glitch where, like, the background's all black and you can't look at the, like, player menu, you can't open up customization? I haven't seen that yet. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> or restart your game. That's crazy. I haven't seen that yet. Crazy. I haven't seen that yet. I've been getting it every I'm... day. But that's probably because I play Halo way too much every day. Okay, um. Okay. 
I've never played Griff Ball on uh, Halo 4 or Halo 2 in a roof route, actually. One more and then, um, I'm gonna get One off and, uh, then, uh, yeah, you gotta go to bed. Get off this is crazy. Yeah, we gotta go to bed, bro. It's crazy. Okay. Okay. You do sound like, you sound like mommy, it's really You weird. do sound like, you sound like mommy. Halo reach again. Halo. Uh, I mean, hey, Kevin. <laughs> I mean, I wanted, I wanted you. <laughs> I went to say Halo, and then I changed my I mind. Went to say Gavin, and I said Galo. <laughs> wow. wow. wasn't a regular throwdown tonight, but I think right, we did get a throwdown between Tommy and Bullfrog. Yeah, Griff Ball. That's gonna be highlighted everywhere. They, they, they need to have a round two. That was gold. Oh wow. Oh, I was about to score! Where's the ball? Where's the right ball? side, right side. Ow. Pin him down, pin him down. Yeah, um... Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh god. This is not gonna be a good match. Alright, get this guy. He needs the sword against the guy who's got the ball, by the way. We're gonna kill him. Are you serious? Okay, get the guy... I'm chasing uh, him away. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, wow. It'd be best. It'd be best if um uh, two people can try and get the guy from the to score. If he is right now, and he's not gonna. Oh, 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 take it. Got it. There's a guy camping at the spawn. Oh, you, there he is. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh no, I thought it was the bad guy. Ooh, I got him. I got him. Take it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, oh, oh, I almost dropped it. I killed my teammate. Hostiles got it. I got it. I knew it. I knew the guy was gonna have his sword. Let the bomb go. Let me go. Bomb. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna do a camping What is this guy doing camping at the Revenge. Bomb. Armed. Bomb. Detonated. GG's, GGs guys. Good oh, shit. Uh, Griff ball. Yeah, sometimes you actually have play with your play. And then you've got the people who also... I'm going for the bomb. Oh, wow. Oh, Old teammate cut me off. He's gonna pick it up. I'm over here. Rolly Hammer sometimes is not fast enough. Bomb taken. But for everyone else to grab it, there's 20,000 feet. I don't even know 20,000 feet when it's just laying currently. <laughs> that best, the best one I've ever had in the uh, has gotta be that one uh, that kill him in Zara, uh, like yesterday. Get, get, get. GG! Round over. Alright, whoever scores, if we score this round, we win. Griff ball. Gosh, I remember Griff ball. Uh -oh. Yeah, you did. You got me. 
They got it, I think. Oh, he dropped it. You betrayed your own son. <laughs> Dang it! Going for, for it. Going for it. Want to play? Oh, Jeez, oh. this guy. Bombs on their side. Bombs on their side. Yeah, um, if they ever, if, you, if everyone goes on the other side, and then the guy just starts charging at the thing, like, wait, wait, what are you doing right now? Sorry, I betrayed someone. Yeah, I would've been me, but that's fine. Yeah. Alright. As long as he is. I'm not that great with when I get the ball. Get the bomb, get the bomb, get the bomb, and yeah! Daddy scores! Did you get it? <laughs> yeah, you got it! Yeah, thrown in. Good play. Oh my god. Alright. That was cool. I, I, I got a rush. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna go to bed so I can get up to clean all the stuff tomorrow. 2 a.m. Jesus. Probably gonna get a drink and then I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, Gab, yeah, that'd be good, man. Get some sleep early so you can wake up earlier. <laughs> Thanks, bird. <laughs> Which I will probably still wake up by two. All right, buddy. Oh no! <laughs> this is such thing as door lock. Night, guys. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Yeah. See ya. All right, man. Thank you, everybody, for uh, watching uh, the stream tonight. Uh, especially earlier, we saw Bullfrog and Tommy have a just a gigantic fight and meltdown earlier it was crazy crazy uh, fight and meltdown with bullfrog and tommy it's so weird it's echoing in here it never usually echoes in here but now that the everything is screwed up in the room it's uh it's echoing um thank you all and everybody who donated to during the stream thank you for that that'll help me uh, build up the basement a little bit and uh thanks to junebug for dropping the 50 dollars man sorry there was no throwdown but you got a big throwdown between tommy and bullfrog earlier tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow for um, AEW review and whatever else we uh, want to do here. And uh, good night. Yeah. I turned it off. What are you going to show me? Oh, I don't know. I don't even know what I got because I just turned it off so quick. I'll be right there. All right. I'm going to hang in my stream. Good night, guys.